Welcome to Retro Sports Gamer Channel. I'm Tim Kitzer from NBA Jam and Mutant Football League, NFL Blitz, and a few other games. Boom shakalaka. Kaboom. My favorite actor. Oh, that's easy. Kevin Bacon, obviously. His best movie is probably a tie between all of them. <laughs> I do a Kevin Bacon impression. This valley's just one long smorgas bar. They're under the gram. It's Tremors. It's of me and Kevin. I've never actually met him. I had it commissioned. Am I obsessed with Kevin Bacon? I don't know. Obsessed is a strong word. I think I'm a, I'm a devoted fan. And you know, the Logitech review is just perfect for me because I just type in Kevin Bacon and it uses Google TV, finds all kinds of movies and shows and YouTube videos. So let's just say I happen to be in the mood for, I don't know, a movie about a rebellious teen who's living in a town where dancing is illegal. There it is. Let's dance! Yeah, my wife says if I watch any more Kevin Bacon, I might actually turn into Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Add Google TV to your television with the Logitech Review. If you can think it, you can watch it. Greetings, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. Trojan 1979, welcome to week two. I have Thule with me from the Detroit Kumite. How's it going, Thule? Real good, Troy. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Hello, Tecmo. Hello, Tecmo, indeed. This is a special ROM. Uh, Hollow Man is the theme. And uh, who doesn't love some Kevin Bacon? Uh, we're going to have disappearing players disappearing ball carriers uh, during this week. You're going to love it or you're going to hate it. Um, if you're watching it, you're probably liking it. If you're playing it and losing, uh, you're probably hating it. Uh, I think the Mac is a big fan of it based on his comments in Discord. Uh, yay for the Mac. But we had a game here between Purple Haze and Maddie, 65-70. Uh, big uh just shout out to Maddie. He has been doing just a tremendous amount of uh, data entry uh, across my brand with the leagues and such. Uh, another shout out to Nostradamus for some of that work as well. Uh, but Maddie has just been keeping things um, on par. So big shout out to him. If you ever see him at a tournament, buy him a beer, and then you can invoice me for it, I guess. Um, my so name is also Matt, so if you do, can't find him and you see me, you buy me a beer. And by the property of Matt's, you basically are fulfilling that obligation. So just, just a public service announcement there. Yes, absolutely. It's almost like a plural Matt's, like a Matt's Sundin or something like that. That's oh. that, that's a little nugget for you NHL 94 fans. Let's go back to this, though. Purple Haze, Maddie 6570, and again, the Hollow Man, the ball carrier will periodically disappear and reappear from view uh, as – and whether that's offensively or defensively, if there's a turnover, the defender will get that. The kick returners will get it. The punt returners will get it. Once the ball is possessed, that player will periodically disappear and reappear. So we have Jets and Cowboys, uh, a matchup that uh, doesn't have a lot of total speed on the field offensively. And that may be a strategy, although Purple Haze calling this matchup, I know this is one of his favorites. Yeah, it's a very common matchup, a commonly called matchup, especially recently. I don't remember it being so common as of like a year or two ago, but in recent online tournaments, it seems to be servicing a lot. Um, so, you know, uh, like you said, not a whole lot of speed, so there's less craziness there. Uh, but, of course, you do have the ability to throw interceptions here. So one thing I learned in my game here is that it was tough to keep an eye sometime on a on QB scrambling and things like that. So I'm interested to see how some of these other games work out just compared to the experience that I had playing with the ROM. Uh, as well. I'm looking forward to it. And of course, we're going to be playing the championship game with this Rob. No, we're not. Absolutely not. You'll, just, you'll see why in a little bit. Let's go right to it. Jets, Cowboys, Purple Haze, and Maddie 6570. This is Trojan with Thule. Let's get it started. All right. And in honor of the hollow man, I'm going to crack a Coke Zero, who's uh, recent, uh, you know, public or like uh, message to their uh, employees be less visible. I think that was what it was. Be less visible. So in honor of them for Halloween. Yeah, visible was the word, I think. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Be less visible. So that's what we're doing here this round. This is, this is a woke broadcast. Here comes Baxter. Oh, there he goes. He was gone. Then he reappeared. And the drones know where the players are. I should I should mention that the defenders, 
know where the ball carrier is. First down and 10 for Purple Haze. In a one update here, we are going to try to give you, you won't see the monster, but we will uh, vocally report to you uh, the conditions. So we're going to be utilizing Condition Checker. And we have an overthrow pick right away to start. Timing a little bit off. Pick play. And Maddie 65 70 takes over. Hendrix catches it, immediately dis disappears, and says, Excuse me while I kiss the cheerleader. Big Booty Aikman reappearing, handing it oh. off to Smith. Look at him go. He got Can't home. find him. Hollow Man scores. <laughs> and there's that great offensive line, which uh, leads to an another Emmett Smith touchdown, of course. Uh, the only reason why he has the rushing record that he has. But uh, made use of his invisibility there to uh, grab another one. What offensive line are you talking about? I guess maybe the real life version. This one is not they're not so great. Well, you know, they play above their stats. It happens in the NFC East. It's like it's almost like hidden stats. Who else has hidden stats in the uh in the East? Oh, uh, the 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 B more white running back, Johnny Johnson. Absolutely. First down and ten here for Purple Hayes has to shake that one off on that pick play. Single back. Washington. Back to back pick plays. Yeah, the drones found him. Got to be less predictable. Let's go, Purple Haze. This is insane. This is really the first I'm seeing player versus player with this concept. And, uh, oh, I play the, pay pick, the play picking app is working. Uh, it's, it was an, a secret add-on. Uh, it was invisible. You didn't see it in the post. Yeah, the uh, in the old history of Tecmo, play picking uh, sort of cheating was a thing, and, and BrewDog was able to sort of eradicate that. Oh my goodness, oh my gets it away. I thought there was a safety coming there. Boyer with the JG bracket in. Here he goes. And he's gone. Oh, no, he's not gone. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it used to be a thing where you could like save the state once your opponent had picked a play, and then you could actually go and view what they called. And people used to cheat that way. But uh, thankfully, that's not an issue anymore. Blair Thomas underneath disappears in a tap off, but looks like Maddie has the taps there and the first down for Purple Hayes. Yeah, I recall, you know, running into drones on offense uh, and also running out of bounds, you know, kind of doing the standard run away from the drones and, and hug the sideline. And a couple of times I'd run out of bounds. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see if there's sort of like just mistakes made. Oh, and uh, uh, redirect there that are of a similar nature. Purple Haze missing uh, Blair Thomas underneath, but wanted something bigger. Ladies. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Who doesn't, huh? Over the top to Johnny Hector. Diver in the end zone. He disappears, and he's back. Just in time for law enforcement to scoop him up there. <laughs> that was a nice job. Hector wishes he could have uh, disappeared in his battle with Achilles, but uh, disappears there and picks up six points for his team. Even the holder disappears. Yeah, well, he's got the ball. So that's uh, interesting that, yeah, that, that he disappears as well. I think the punter might disappear, too. Lonzo Highsmith out to the 14. First and 10 for Maddie. We all tied up here at 7 under a minute of Tecmo time in the first. Recently learned that your punter can fumble the ball if he gets uh, sacked. So I had never kind of had a chance to see that before, but it, it actually did happen in time in the game. Uh, and I had just previously taken a game where I, I took an intentional punter safety for strategic reasons. But now that I know you can fumble, I don't think I'll do that anymore. <laughs> I suppose you can always just run out of bounds. Oh, no, you can't. As a punter, you can't control him. What am I talking about? Not as, not as no. a punter, yeah. This is an Aussie rules punter. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are those where the entire offensive line holds everyone and takes the penalty? Runs the clock out? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Boy, just try to guess where Smith was in that play. Welcome to second quarter. Seven all. Yeah, I had no clue. And let's go ahead and run uh, a save on the condition checker here. I know there's... Um... So, uh, notable Michael Irvin in bad condition. Robbie Walt in bad. And the center, John Giesick, who's down to 38 HP, is in bad. Uh, the kicker is down to 38. Pat Lehe, or how, Leahy, uh, how Leahy. you pronounce it? is uh, at 81 kicking ability, so he'll be able to kick a mile. Uh, Jeff Criswell um, on the Jets, uh, his offensive lineman, hits up to 56 HP. Dennis Bird in bad, and Joe Mott in bad. The rest of the team is in average. So let's get back to it. Yeah, it's not not a whole lot of change in conditions. Very, uh, most, mostly everybody is staying in average. Really the only one that's 
real notable there is, is Bird, the Jets, and Bad, Urban, and Bad, the Cowboys. Run three, and uh, they found him. Only four yards there. Nice play. A lot of ground to cover here for McMillan. Big booty going back, going up to Novacek. See if McMillan overran it or not. Novacek underneath the coverage, and he's got the touchdown. Maddie takes the lead. This is Tecmo, and that's uh, the most tried and true way to move the ball. Those long passes, and when they connect, it's a thing of beauty. Fourteen seven all. Uh, I'm sorry, fourteen to seven is the score rather, and four oh five here remaining. Let's see if uh, in the return game those Jets returns are just not too fast. Gets the bump there in the middle of the field, dangerous. Gets another bump. Backs with a nice return out pass, the 20, 25, 26. Wow. And here he goes. This is as long as I've ever seen Baxter return uh, yeah, to the 42. A, that is a Brett Miller uh, powered return. Brett Miller, 25 MS. The right tackle for the Jets. Called run three. Again, the drones know where you're going, so. I, I know there's a, there's a Sporkle quiz out there where they ask you to name every player on a Tecmo Super Bowl, and you get a lot of freebies because a lot of guys share the same last name. So I'm sure Brett Miller, you know, uh, I got – I didn't get everybody when I took the quiz. You know, there were a bunch of guys I missed. The but, offensive alignment are usually the hard ones to – Yeah, but, he you know, you get them for free when you say Anthony Miller or, or any of the other uh, – are there other Millers on the uh, on the ROM? I'm not sure. Uh, Hugh, uh, or you know, Hugh Millen, and then uh, Millen. and then there's uh, Chris Miller. Chris yeah. Miller, yep. Chris Miller, sure. So, but then you get all the Millers at once when you do that. So it's a fun one if you if you uh, got some time to waste. You know, do that Sporkle quiz, and you'll be mad about the ones that you miss. But you're right, a lot of the linemen, especially offensive linemen, get. Uh, off. But at least they tell you what team you're missing, you know, so you can kind of think about it. If you're into those redraft leagues, then you know, you'll be mad at yourself for missing them. Ken O'Brien with a scramble disappeared, broke a tackle, and got out of bounds. Here's run three, Blair Thomas. Under under two minutes remaining. Yeah, Hayes not in bad shape here. He had that initial turnover and touchdown, but if he can get a, a, a score, namely a touchdown here before halftime and, and go in tied, then, uh, you know, that's not the end of the world. Thomas drops that one near the 20, third and four. I've often wondered what a ROM would look like. You know how with original Tech Mobile, right? Like th there weren't drops like that, and there also is basically like if the pass was covered, it was an interception. Yes. Uh, I wonder if like that would be an interesting ROM idea, like old school. You know, make it so that that always or never happens but then there would also be no fumbles right there would also there'd be no fumbles and there would be no um oh. uh, you there would be no tap offs between players oh is that the case uh, yeah there's, there, there's there's a grapple but it, you have to be freed up by a drone okay otherwise you just get tackled huh yeah once once a pl you can break a drone grapple but you can't break a player on player grapple oh nice ah, it's been forever since i played tech mobile We'll have to talk to some of the smarter people out there in tech. We've got a nice on-the-run touchdown there to Blair Thomas. Nice completion from Ken O'Brien, and we're about to have a tie ball game. Yep, yeah, so, again, uh, he's got a kickoff to start the second half, and now he's at least got the game all square. So, uh, got to feel pretty good after how the game started. Highsmith out of the end zone, and that was a really important score there before the end of the half. <laughs> and uh, being bold there is Maddie 6570. Welcome to halftime. Tie game here in the first Hollow Man broadcast of the week. Uh, here, well, Thule doing the wave. Get into it. I hope you're enjoying this illustrious halftime show. And we got Lacey with the panty shot, so thank you. Thank you, Tecmo, for being weird. Oh, that's oh. A, that, with a shoulder shimmy right there. Take a cold shower, Julie. Oh. Staying in this basement is pretty cold. We've got a couple warm days, but it, it stays refrigerated down here until uh, for a long time. I, I broadcast back-to-back -back 
baseball games yesterday with the wind blowing directly into the announcer's box. And I took the brunt of it, and I was wind burnt when I got home. Oh, my gosh. They don't give you the uh, the luxury box uh, retreatment there in the high school circuit? The facility was really nice. It's just that um, they didn't realize that the space heaters were downstairs, and eventually <laughs> we got it. But, uh, I mean, it was it, you, sh- you normally aren't playing baseball in 45-degree weather. It just is with sideways uh, wind. In high school, you kind of are because you start in, what, April? Uh and uh, <laughs> you get you get some cold games playing ball. Wow! Nice run by Smith there. Is he now? <laughs> oh my goodness! And that's what we want. Oh, but he puts it on the ground. And picked oh, up by man. the Jets. Here comes Scott Merso, and uh, take over here for Purple Hayes. So uh, wow. now he's in the driver's seat. Maddie sixty-five seventy was previously, and that really the first going- mistake. What do we got going on conditions here, Troy? Oh, yes. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do the thing. So uh, Troy Aikman's in bad. Aggie is in bad. Rob Awalt's in bad. John Giesick's still in bad. Ken Norton is in good. That's your LB1. Uh, he's now at 31.44 with uh, 38 INT. Certainly a nickel option. Uh, Irvin, is, Irvin is out of bad, too, so he's back into average. Yes. And then uh, Tony Stargell uh, is in good, but unfortunately Aaron McMillan and J- James Hasty. Uh, along with Dennis Bird, Joe Mott, and Jeff Lagerman are all in bad on defense for the Jets. Offensively, Rob Moore went into bad. Uh, Doug Wilson, the backup tight end, you don't care too much about. Uh, the rest of the, those players are an average. And so, uh, and then uh, Pat Lee is also still in good. So, uh, back to the action. Yeah, Holt also in bad for the Cowboys. I'm not sure if that got mentioned. Oh, Manny Hendricks getting in. He's got a pick in this game, and now he's got an That's important sack. sack. Defensive player of the game right here. Boy, Maddie just uh, all over Purple Haze and his uh, his thought process. So that's clearly helped him out in this game. But uh, he's on the wrong end of the uh, of things right now. The one thing I'm, I've noticed a lot, and oh, boy, you're getting you, you, a guy that big. You need a, a, a big cloaking screen there. First down and ten for Purple Haze. I mean, normally you aren't terribly worried about the run uh, with this team. You'll know having a 44 MS back and this, you know, conditions change it. Uh, so you probably pick a lot of pass, and those are the plays that have been getting picked. Yeah, I mean, like I, like I said, in my experience, running the ball, once your guy disappears, it helps a little bit, but the drones can still track you, and you don't know exactly where you are. And that makes things a little bit tougher to, to maneuver. Uh, Boyer looked like uh, he had maybe six there, and uh, poor, poor, a uh, poor pass, excuse me, from Ken O'Brien. So third down and five. Yeah, he's probably still a little shaken up from that sack from Hendricks, you know. So still feeling uh, a little lightheaded. You might see a scramble here. Oh, late reaction there. I think he could have. Uh... Could have stopped him up before the first down there if uh, he had gotten a little quicker realization. If he only knew where he was first time. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this in chat, by the way, and you take this uh, opportunity. If you have not yet uh, followed the Retro Sports Gamer channel, please do. Another, like, he's just not giving him pass two today. <laughs> he has been taking that away pretty much the entire game, second down and 19. You know what I thought would be another like, cool modification? Uh, to make some of the play action plays a little bit more useful, is if on those play action runs and passes. Nice defense by Maddie there. Uh, Perfect position. If the time when the number on who has the ball actually shows up was sort of randomly determined, so it wasn't the same amount of time every every play, to simulate sort of like a good fake or a bad fake, you know? So it's like the defense knows less when who's got the ball i don't know it, it's a, how, how tough that would be nice nice pass there and touchdown from hayes back in front I, I think one of the things that makes the play action pass so dangerous to call is that if you have the quarterback is that you don't have the ability to take him out of that animation so let's say in the you're doing a bootleg um and a guy like a bruce smith makes contact with you gets around the tackle and you're still in that moment, you, you get instantly tackled. You can't even tap out. 
Yeah, exactly. That's what makes those plays far less, uh, you know, utilized. I think the one on the offset eye is the one that maybe gets used the most. Huge run here for Smith. But I'm saying maybe that modification to how the number shows up would make it more difficult to defend the play action and make it more, uh, you know, more more of a dangerous play to have in there. That's something that would at least sort of like balance out that extra risk that you take when you call it. Also on called plays, you know, you're you're really risking. You can't you can't dump off the, you know, on the hot route. So you're going to take a sack, and if it's a fumble, then it's a touchdown, right? Absolutely. So let's do a quick update on the conditions here. Johnny Hector now 50 ms back uh, for a purple haze. So I would imagine he'll find his way onto the lineup. Uh, JoJo Townsville in bad. Uh, Jeff Chris will still in good. Mike Height the. Uh, lineman is in bad at 38 HP. Jeff Lagerman still in bad. Kyle Clifton went into good. So a great coverage option there with Kyle Clifton. Joe Mott uh, is in bad. James Hasty in bad. Tony Stargell in good. Eric McMillan in bad. Brian Washington still in average. Pat Lee is in good. Uh, Aikman back into average. Tommy Agee and Robert Perriman are in bad. Alonzo Highsmith and Emmett Smith are in average. Kelvin Martin and James Dixon are in average. Michael Irvin back into bad. Um... I'm not sure if it was the cocaine or what the deal was there, but Alexander yeah, he needs, Wright. He needs cocaine, yeah, that's what he needs. Okay, so he's 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 on a downer right now. Uh, Alexander Wright went into good, uh, not a, a tremendous weapon there by any means, even. Uh, and then Novacek is an average. Uh, Robbie Walt in bad. John Gisek still in bad. Ken Norton still in good. Tony Tolber went into bad. Ray Horton, go, uh, the. Um, uh, excuse me, the uh, defensive back goes in too good, and then Manny Hendricks is in bad. Holton Washington are an average. Ken Willis still in bad. Let's get back to it. Whew, that was a very thorough uh, rundown of the uh, of the conditions. Yeah, what I'll have to do, guys, um, maybe I'll make a separate scene that I can toggle to so you guys can just see it. We'll, we'll just flash to it for about 20 seconds and then go back to it, um, back to the game. The way that we have this layout, you know, I, I paid money for it, so it does. It does. I don't have a great spot on the layout where you'd be. Everything would be big enough for you to see it. What I think it would be cool is if there's a way to display this in some sort of ticker fashion. We could just have it going along the bottom the entire time. Boy, there's something really weird when the player disappears and the ball gets pitched. Yeah, Emmett, man, he's a uh, he's. He's really been sort of like the focal point in this game in terms of like he disappears and then he gets a big gain. That's happened quite a bit. Maddie is the leading the uh, HSTLG league in rushing. He could be uh, yeah. touched. <laughs> I, I, I think I think he was like with now. Dave Meggett. I want to say. Mm -hmm. Um, so he he's been feasting. Uh, twenty-one to twenty here touchdown for Maddie. You know, that, was a per that, that, that was that's sort of like a perfect situation right there where, you know, he gets the pitch and then he immediately he there's no drones on his tail and he disappears. You can go anywhere you want. If there's a drone following you, you know, you're going to get hunted down by the man player, too. But there he could have gone up. He could have gone down and really just made it really easy for him to, to convert that into a touchdown. Brad Baxter to the 11, first down and 10. And I imagine we're going to see, yep, Johnny, I'm in good Hector into the game. Yeah, nice when you have, even when you have a team like the Steelers or, or, or the Patriots, right, where you have a multiple uh, backs with the, the same max speed and, you know, you can get one of them in the good. It just sort of, like, elevates the, the value of your team. And now with him being in good, you have, of course, the rushing power boost, so he's a little better at juking. Um, let's see if he can utilize that while he's invisible. And just leaning on this run, too. Ooh, this time they break through, and, of course, this is uh, probably a result maybe of the Hitting power, Mike Hyde internally there. And now down uh, with cold play, third down and 13. Well, how do you measure your offensive lines against other teams? By height? Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. We have one groaner per broadcast. Mm -hmm. We have achieved it. Actually, you know what? That um, your, your woke coke there. <laughs> that was a pretty good one, too. <laughs> All right, so he forced the punt. So this game's had a lot of swings here. It really started out with uh, Maddie 
getting the early break or you know not exactly a break I don't I don't consider that a break when you get a call play interception um, but then Hayes with a break does it get uh, that fumble back and now uh, Maddie kind of has the reins again here after forcing a punt and Emmett just <laughs> making all sorts of hay in his invisible state it is the Emmett show for sure I mean, he could have extended his uh, career by a few years if he was allowed to be invisible. I, you know, I'm going to give Evans a credit. Yes, he had that tremendous offensive line, but he also played on concrete for all those games. Yeah, I mean, he was obviously good. So the, the man was tough. He was certainly endured. Um, that game where he played like a separated shoulder, that was uh, basically with one arm and still found a way to will them to win, that was... And I, I despised the Cowboys back then because um, they were always beating my Packers. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe he got he got away he, he got through all that. Uh, I don't know. He just seemed like uh like the the man defender was gonna have it bottled up. Well, here we go. Here's the pitch to Emmett. Boom! He's invisible. Now what are you gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't have a good uh, John Madden, you know. But I'd love to hear Jack Trudeau do a little bit of it. I don't here. know if he's close enough here with I mean, if he's not checking conditions. I think he's too far away. Well, he's too far away with that. And he's too high. Yeah, he was close enough. Oh, he just gave one second back to Purple Haze. He can try one with Pat Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a mistake. Yeah. Leahy going to line it up now. Bad Hendricks. Leahy's got it. Looks looks good. Oh, man. What a way to go out, man. He played so well on this one. And Purple Haze finds a way to survive. I mean, kudos to him. Um. He got the stop, made him have one extra second on the clock, and well, that's all she wrote. The, I, I haven't seen the Cowboys screw up a, a field goal like that uh, since the Nate Newton or then the Leon Lett uh, Thanksgiving game. That's uh, cow, those Cowboys and their kicking game debacles. Oh man, those are those are some good memories. Uh, you know, Leon Leon Lett has a couple of them. The Don Beebe Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. uh, luckily, that you know, for the Cowboys at that time, it really wasn't a costly situation. Or, as Frank Reich was just getting hammered in that game. I tell you what, the Cowboys, I absolutely hated the Cowboys in the 90s. I mean, they just they just won all the time, right? And they were very frustrating to, to deal with. When I saw the 30 for 30 on the trade, I always heard about that Herschel Walker trade and how they got all these draft picks. But when I learned that they didn't really get draft picks, they got players who they then cut to get draft picks, that made me just, like, appreciate that team 100% because it was like, not only did they make a great trade, but it was sort of like a sneaky great trade. They just, they just, uh, you know, and then they drafted well. So it's like the, that's a team that sort of deserved to be good. And I still, you know, hated them and hated to see them win. And you know, I'm a Steeler fan, so they beat them in the '90s in the Super Bowl. Um, but uh, and of course the Emmett Barry Sanders thing was kind of annoying. But after seeing that, I was kind of like, all right, that team is a lot more. There's a lot. There's a lot higher cool factor to those Cowboys uh, than than I knew. You know, growing up and, and living through that uh, terrible, terrible decade. So anyway, it, it gave us Tecmo the on the Cowboys. and yeah. uh, the you know, obviously Tecmo was born out of it, and every it, every great sports game from our childhood uh, came about from that. So not all bad, of course. And now we have the uh, uh, the Michael Jordan and his uh, the documentary about the the Bulls and in, in that era as well. So uh, the there's a lot to look back on fondly uh, and, and enjoy with that. So uh, let's move on to the next uh, game for Thule. This is Trojan. I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, and we're going to move it right along. So uh, congrats, Purple Haze. Manny, let the air go down a little bit more. Make that time tick away. Love you, bud. Peace, guys. Greetings, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. It's Trojan 1979. I have a special treat for you. Welcoming into the booth, the very stoic, stumbling, and your favorite multi-marriage connoisseur of whiskey, Jack Effing Trudeau. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great today, Trojan. I'm just wonderful. Got out, walked, uh, walk, just walked my little dog outside. Uh, had a little smell of beer and burritos and it reminded me of tecmo bowl so lucky enough to come downstairs and you sent me a message and i of course 
not really doing too much these days, so uh, be more than happy to give you a call here from old Jackie boy. And you guys are going to have a treat. Jack is going to call the play-by-play. -play. Uh, in between the quarters, we are going to have a pause, show you the conditions. We will bring them up. Uh, it'll look something like this on your right-hand side. Not super flashy. Just give them the basic information, and then we roll back into uh, all things uh, Tecmo Super Bowl. So, uh, Jack Trudeau with the call. I'll be your color commentator. And uh, thanks for watching this here on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. Make sure to follow the channel, subscribe if you haven't, like this video. Helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching here today. Jackie, take it away. Do me a favor and subscribe, everyone out there. All right. Looks like the coin toss has been set. And the Detroit Lions are going to kick off to the Philadelphia Eagles. And Murray boots the ball up. Way up high. Tony gets it at the bottom of the O, and he disappears. I we can't see him. Now he's back in action. And he disappears again. And he's going and he looks like he is down at the 15-yard line of their own uh field. So Eagles trot out into the field. QB Eagles looks like he's been having some words with his team as he uh gets set up. They break the huddle. Here they are in shotgun formation. QB Eagles. Call out the play. Gets the snap. Goes up. He's got speed, ladies and gentlemen. And he reappears. Quick throw to Barnett. Barnett's got it. Unbelievable. He's at the, he's at the four, four, 30. He's at the 25. And he gets tackled out at the 25-yard line. What a play. What a throw by Rando. Turbo was a little confused there. Lost QB Eagles. Didn't know. Uh, if he was going to be scrambling or not, get underneath Barnett and the big play. And now here's one to Sherman. Oof. Oof. Probably should have ran that for a couple more, but hey, why not? Uh, wishbone offense. QB Eagles under center. Gets the ball. Drummond. Drummond. Oh, he tried to freak him out there, and he gets about six yards. Third and four. So what players play. players disappear for a moment, moments at, at a time when they come back. Uh, that is the Hollow Man theme. In case you're wondering why they're disappearing, coming in late to the broadcast. Yes, they. Uh, the, sometimes they've been using it to their advantage. Sometimes it does not use to their advantage. So we'll see what happens here as a man in motion. QB Eagles gets the ball. It's a blitz. Gets the throw out. And it's caught. It's caught. And he gets down to the fourth yard line. What a play call. By Beautiful evasion and pass on the run to Drummond. Drummond again, gets the ball, runs right into the end zone, pass. The defender didn't know where he was. He ran right by him for an easy touchdown, walks in the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. Drummond actually had a really good chance of maybe getting either grapple or dive, but he just couldn't locate Drummond. And oh. uh, looks like uh, this format is... It looks good on Randy Wegg so far. No. Gray gets it in the middle of the seed, runs it. He's at the 5, he's at the 10. He's out of bounds at the 10-yard line. First and 10. Lions, will they answer the call? Pete, under center, gets the snap. Runs up, runs up, has room, and he is tripped up behind the fast, big thighs of Reggie White for a sack of... One yard loss, so not that bad, but Reggie White was coming. Reggie White Pete. is instantly popcorning his blocker. Pete using a little razzle dazzle there, and he is ga gains about a 14 yard run there. What a nice run from uh, Rodney Pete. Uh, looking, hopefully, to get this done with the legs. I know there are a few receivers, but sometimes Pete can be off on his throws, so. They're, they will rely a lot on the ground game today. Sanders gets the ball. Sanders runs out of bounds, gain of four yards. Not wanting to risk a, a gang tackle fumble there, wisely getting out of bounds in that play. Pete gets the ball. He's at the 35, and he is at the 38-yard line. Uh, the Lions are marching down the field right now. I think he's setting Primarily. him up for the over-the-top, much like Barnett earlier on. Yep. Yep, and he gets another first down. They are using the ground game to their advantage. They have all the play calls in the world to, to do this, unless, of course, they go on a calling run and blitz. What is going oh, Okay, there he is. 
He gained one yard on that play. It really is a mind and... job, isn't it, trying to find the player? <laughs> it's, it really is. I've, I've heard uh, you've maybe seen some some hallucinations with the uh, all the spirits you consume, uh, but you normally people people don't disappear <laughs> when that happens, do they? Well, you know, I I, I got to look for that other stuff, uh, stuff that uh, the absinthe. That's why you start drinking. So yeah, that run four one. just got blown up by Joiner and is going to be uh, mostly useless here for Turbo. Uh, unless he just happens to miss the play. He's going to be able to dive in every time on that. And let's go ahead and pull up the condition checker just so we can see uh, what what's going on. James Wilder, Robert Clark in good for uh, the offense on the Lions. Jeff Campbell and Kevin Glover in bad. Uh, and then Dan Owens Not in good. good uh, Ray Crockett good in bad. Sized. Everyone else in average. Not good guys. Decent size, Alex. <laughs> And then Clyde Simmons and Reggie White. Reggie White going now into 75 hit power. He's basically Bruce Smith uh, and a little bit faster. Jerome Ooh. Brown also in good. Could be a potential nickelback, um, you know, and a guy who could get some um, defensive uh, stops there uh, in the passing game for uh, the Eagles. Byron Evans, Mike Golick uh, in bad, and the rest of the um, the team there in average condition for the Eagles. Let's get back to the action I'll be watching Reggie White's thighs today. Those things are going to be monstrous. Let, let's see what kind of havoc he can create against the Lions. And he's not going to be Reggie. He's going to be Joiner. Oh, call play. Blocked. Blocked. Side change. Unbelievable. Call play on the fourth down. Eagles have control once again. QB Eagles on the center. Called play blitz, and he is sacked by Chris Spielman. Normally, that and pass it's... two is a play that you can scramble from and maybe find the wide, excuse me, the tight end down below. But with the disappearing players, uh, it gets a little awkward. Eagles throws a quick ball to Jackson. Jackson gets the ball. The defender tries to dive for it, but Jackson's soft hands reels in that ball. It was little, it was high it was thrown high enough to where the receiver could get it and the defender couldn't. Excellent play. Leroy Drummond Irvin here. just getting abused up there. <laughs> Drummond with a five yard loss, not good, not good. He should be in the doghouse for that one. Uh, Randall Cunningham under center, single back formation. Guy slide out wide, and he's running, and that was not a good throw. And I think that that was uh, probably a mistap. Uh, maybe a little confusion there, or maybe didn't see the player because the tight end was wide open. Blitz, once again, under siege here, and it will be out of bounds. Fourth and 15, got to get the field goal here. What do they got? They got Kofor going against them? Yeah. That boy's got some motor on him, and he gets there. He doesn't get it. It looks good to me, and it is good. 10-0, to zero, Philadelphia. Over the Lions. Must feel like a, a huge uh, upgrade after having to play with Ray Finkel the week before. <laughs> but all Ray, me and Ray Finkel go way back, I tell you, way back. That guy, uh, you you don't want to you don't want to go to on on, a, on one of his private jets with him. Just don't do it. It's not it's against the law most of the time. So I know it might sound like it's a fun time and everything. Just don't go. Don't go. All right, Pete. Understand. I didn't know the, the penitentiary system had <laughs> had private jets. That's unbelievable. It, it truly is. Oh my goodness! What great defense by was that Smith? Uh, it, ben Smith getting up. Yes, uh, the DB two down there. Ben Smith, excellent, excellent athletic play to get up to the ball. Pete going way back for the back and B up to Mel Gray. This looks like it might have a chance. It's Fifty receptions. Oh, boy. And the, the defender drops the ball, drops the pick. And here we are. They come all the way back up to the 10. Quick pitch to Sanders. Sanders running, running, has room. We can't see him. He's down. Oh, my goodness. He could have really razzle-dazzled us all by showing up at the bottom and running for some more, but he was tripped up very quickly. We saw that Jerome right. Brown got the popcorn there, uh, but unable to finish the play. That could be a factor later if he decides to switch off from Joiner, but he's been manning Joiner most of the game. Wishbone offense. Pete <laughs> on the center. Pete runs back. Runs back. He's looking for it all. 
He's looking for it all the gray, and he throws it all the gray. Gray, will he get it? Will he get it? And he does! Unbelievable throw to Gray! Whoa, man! Touchdown! It's unbelievable. That, that is, was a great jump catch by Mel Gray, because Pete threw it up with a hope, wish, and a prayer, and his, t- his pass was, you know, semi on target, but they really needed that athleticism of Mel Gray to jump up and grab that ball right out of the sky. Unbelievable play. A tremendous uh, job by uh, just getting that completion with player one. It was sort of that, that, that perfect zone where you get that bracketed coverage, dropped it right in. Uh, and, and a lot of people that are new to Tecmo don't put Mel Gray in the game. He sits on the bench. You don't know what uh, he's capable of. He's got hands. He's 56 maximum speed. He's a weapon. Telling you, you got to look at his legs. Got to look at his thighs. Oh, call play. We got some thighs in this halftime show. Now we go to the Jack Trudeau and uh, and Trojan halftime. Trojan, what do you got for us? Well, what I'm seeing is a lot of thighs, a lot of uh, midsections, (laughs) and a lot of armpits. (laughs) Let's take a look. Jackie boy likes to see. Condition check time. Drummond, Calvin Williams, Keith Jackson, Clyde Simmons, Reggie White, Jesse Small, Jerome Brown, all in good. Uh, we have Heath, Heath Sherman, Fred Barnett, Ron Heller, uh, our Singletary, Mike Golick, Byron Evans, and Wes Hopkins in bad, and the rest of the team is Not in average. Nice. Andre nice. Ware in now in good condition, might make an appearance over Rodney Pete. We'll see James Wilder also in good with Robert Clark going into excellent condition, uh, now at Ooh. 56 maximum speed. Might take the place of uh, Mel Gray uh, up top if he wants to um, – Mm-hmm. Uh, abuse the DB up there. And then Willie Green in average, uh, Jeff Com- Campbell, Kevin Glover, Keith Ferguson, and Ray Crockett in bad, Michael Colfer and Jerry Ball, two uh, important pieces on the defense for the Lions, are in good condition. So let's get back to the action. Yes, I folks, guys. I want to see Robert Clark. We got to see some more Robert Clark here. That guy in excellence. I want to see him do some excellent plays and we would just we just might get it right here right now folks as wilder has the ball and he's disappearing all the way up to the 17 yard line and he is putting in andre Ware has gotten the nod from the coach and he is marching out onto the field with his team looks like he's going over to robert clark to say something in his ear i think there might be something coming with that uh but Looks like Ware is going to take control of this team. I am excited. <laughs> oh, boy. Ware on the center. Single back formation. Ware steps back. He is looking, looking. Oh, and he runs it, and he is looking fast. And he is, yeah, he did a, he did a little invisibility trick there. He did He, he did the Heisman pose time. while he was invisible. You just he, couldn't see it. I, I, you couldn't see it. You couldn't see it. <laughs> that's, ex- that's exactly what he did. Oh, my goodness. Almost intercepted. Woo. Okay. Where? Don't be throwing rocket balls like that. Okay. Where? Gets up. Looking. Quick Uh-oh. throw to Sanders. Can't find him. He's going down. The le- th- this is this is a strategy in this game with this hollow man. You got to go where the least expected. So just hit down or... Oh, man. What is this? Is this a cold point? Oh, there he is. I didn't even see the ball character. That's the idea. I didn't even see him. Unbelievable. Okay, Barry gets the pitch. It's a pitch. Has some speed. Has some speed. And he is roped down for a first down. Jerome Brown was right next to him. He didn't even know it. Uh, that's that's the fun of this. Uh, now going over the top. Overthrow. Hey. And Joyner is there. Andre Ware hey. throws his first pass. Uh, a, a bad pass, excuse me. And there he goes. Mm. Andre Ware. You, when you see a target, you got to make sure there's not a defender on him. If there is a defender on him, high probability you might get picked. All right, here we go. QB Eagles in the center. Gets the ball. It's a blitz. QB Eagles running, running, running. And he is out for a gain of three yards. Mitigates the blitz and uh, gains three yards for his team. Eagles, once again, going quick here. Eagles. Eagles running, running. Oh, and he gets way out there for a 13-yard gain. 
What a run. This is what the Eagles got to do to win. That exact play right there. Pitch to Drummond. Drummond running, running, running. No one knows where he is. Even I didn't know, but he's down. Oh, but he gained three yards. Scrambling right. with QB Eagles right now, or even even uh, the Lions quarterbacks, I, it's normally a, a pretty easy thing to do in standard Tecmo. You can't see where the quarterback is most of the time, and as a result, you're danger you're in danger of running out of bounds, uh, getting tackled in bounds uh, by misjudging where the defenders are in relation to yourself. So nice play to Byers there. Wow, excellent play to Byers, excellent. The way Randall Cunningham. Uh, uh, just evades the blitz is second to none with his speed and his pass that he that was all randall randall going up the middle where is he oh he's down below and he's getting tackled gang tackled for a gain of four the way that tecmo scrolls in this game makes this so amazing because you really just don't know and until they start actually taking off you don't know if, because then the screen would move you don't know where they are and this is just absolutely you, you got to make you got to take some chances eventually. Absolutely, absolutely. Blitz, Randall Cunningham evading the blitz, and he doesn't get much. It's a fourth and five decision time. I think you go for it here, and they will. QB Eagles shotgun gets a snap. It's another called play. My goodness, that was like four in a row. And that's a wow. that's, a, that's really costly because now uh, the Lions have it. And they lost the possession, did the Eagles, so the Lions are now in the driver's seat. Um, however, with them only being on the 50, uh, Wegg still has a chance to respond here if the Lions score. Should we do a con condition check here? Oh, you're absolutely correct on that. Let's go take a look at that new new feature here. All right, so Andre Ware's still on good. Barry Sanders, uh, Willie Green's in good. Richard Johnson, so Dick Dick isn't bad. And you see the, the roster there. So Reggie White, an excellent. That is could be could be a major factor terrorizing. Big thighs. Big thighs. And that hump move. Uh, we see Jim McMahon, the punky QB, is in good. It's unlikely he would make the the cut here uh, getting onto the field. Barnett's in bad. So that will be a contributing factor. Kelvin Williams at 38. Uh, MS right now, so that'll help a little bit. Bar Barnett's usually your guy you want to hit, and then of course you have um, Keith Byers is out there. He's an average yet, um, and then defense. Excuse me, on the tight end you have Keith Jackson, so at, he's still at 50 MS in average condition. Now, re re regardless of the pick, you got to keep wear in the game. That's what I would do. I would say the only exception to that would be maybe you want more time to get the ball down the field to loft your throw with the passing speed possibly um but uh here we go there's yeah here we go i i i think he leaves where in, in the game in this one give him another shot give the kid another shot you know he threw one pick man i'm a man of second chances maybe third maybe five maybe 10 maybe 19 chances but hey i'll give you that extra chance if you ask for it all right sanders running oh look at this he is way in front of the defenders before they even notice it, and they chase him out of bounds. Gain of 20 there. Where? With the ball. Takes the ball, goes up. No one knows where he is. He does a quick throw to Clock. Clock has the ball. An excellent, and he gets down at the 10-yard line. Gain of 10, another first down. Where? On the center again. Hikes the ball. Can't see where. Where is he going? No pun intended. Reggie yeah, White there, taking Reggie. over. Red, those big thighs of Reggie, the minister of thighs, gets the sack. And where, once again, running, scrambling, trying to find a man, and he does in the end of the end zone. It's a touchdown, Mel Gray. Lions get back up on the board and are winning, soon to be 14 to 10. Always a... a you always wonder whether or not the, the ball's going to go to the back of the end zone on those throws. Uh, he lucks out on there, and it goes right to Mel Gray for the touchdown. A couple key plays before that, Seth Joyner uh, had him in a dive pro set, did not make the dive, and uh, led to a big gain, and then uh, was able to complete a uh, ball over the middle, get a big gain, and then ultimately we just saw there for the touchdown. Excellent, excellent, excellent recap, excellent recap. All right, we go. Wishbone offense. And Drummond runs it up. He disappears again, and he is going. 
He is going, and he is out, and he gains about 15 yards in that play. What a play with the hollow man uh, activated uh, Eagles. Single back formation. Oh, and he's doing his disappearing act. Where is QB Eagles? Where? Oh, and he is down. First down looks like to me. Uh, yep, first down. Um, excellent play. Randy Wag is in control here. He just needs to score and use up time. Eagles on the center. Gets the ball. Quick pitch. Drummond. Drummond running. Finding his blockers. Following his blockers. Excellent following of the blockers. He's got his man down. Now he's going to go. Is he going to make it? Nope. He is down, or out of bounds, excuse me, at about the 18-yard line. Almost moving the Where's ball the too effectively with that running back, which is something you would just never typically say about Robert Drummond. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, they gained about six yards in that play. Uh, another Drummond run. Um, Eagles, shotgun, man in motion. Blitz. Will he Jer throw it? Oh, no, he gets sacked. Spielman gets the sack, but Jerry Ball made Hello? that play. He got on there in a second. Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, sir? Hello? Hello? We lost We lost Jack Trudeau. Hello? We're going to try to get Jack Trudeau back in a, in a second. Hello? We'll just make sure that the microphone Hello? is picking up. You know, Hello? we're 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 in we're in a in a drunken stupor here. Well, one of us is for damn sure. Um, uh, yes, yes. So we're gonna just uh, turn okay. it back to Jack Doe here. Have him keep let, talking. Let, let's 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 do it. Let's do it. I am ready. Okay, so we have single back formation. QB Eagles. Quick pitch to Drummond. Drummond running, running. Port fourth and five here for Randy Wags. Looks like we've got a pause of feed. Just a slight pause of feed right now. Well, oh. while we take this pause, let me tell you about uh, Old Drum Whiskey. You know, back in my day, I was going through all these types of whiskeys. And now, well, I found myself a whiskey. Oh, hey, here we are. Back to the game. Quick pitch. Drummond. Drummond has the game. And he gets it for a touchdown. My goodness. The will, the gumption, the power of Robert Drummond getting there. 16 to 14. Eagles. Woo. Jack Trudeau handling the technical difficulties without problem. Are you able to hear me, Jack? Guess he can't. Sure am. You're Looks hearing like me. They're back to kick. Uh, they will be uh, kicking here shortly, but once again, I'd like to talk about Old Drum. Old Drum whiskey, it's a whiskey that is smooth, uh, very cheap, and uh, you can get it any, at any grocer, any liquor store. You fill your glass with how many wives you have? We may have it's lost. Special. It looks like we just got you I, back again. I, I can hear you. Could you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Could you hear me throughout the performance? Yes, I could. There's only one little bit of inter interruption there. Like before? Yeah, there, there, was, there was a couple little audio Hello? glitches. Yeah. Well, maybe you're not hearing me. Hello? 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 I apologize when we do these live uh, like this. I don't know what's causing the the network problem, but uh, we're going to continue on. Well, I'm going to call it for Jack here. I'm not sure what happened. We're going to we're gonna blame the internet here. We have... Brown, and, uh, hey, you're back in. Uh, I said we we just we had lost you. You're back, and this is the final play of the game. Oh, excellent. Possibly the final, final play. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my he goodness. does. It is the final play. It. It. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh my. Too much ham. Uh, oh, 
Oh, I'm back to it. Okay, I'm good. False alarm, people. Here we go. All right, he kicks it up, and he puts it through a successful try, as they say here in Tecmo Land, and a successful game. The Lions defeat the Eagles. And you look, 21 to 17. Look at that score sheet. I mean, it's Ooh. a pretty back and forth game there. Um, and just getting that uh, reception in stride there uh, got it done for Turbo. But uh, my goodness, what a uh, what a way to end it. Apologize to the, the fans out there for the – it seemed like the internet was kind of glitching on us there near the end of the broadcast. But it came back just in that, that pinnacle moment for Jack to make that call and choke on his ham sandwich Mama Cass style. It- <laughs> internet is this thing on the internet oh yeah well it will be uh, oh, <laughs> when they see it will be it, this isn't on a rotary phone no 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 it's not on uh dixie cups and string either how is this i i, I knew i was old but i didn't know i this tech i thought i was on a uh a phone a phone line this is crazy wow so this is gonna go out to everybody then huh uh, yes, all, like the, the millions and millions of Tecmo fans out there. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Jack Trudeau, quarterback. I know where you are, and you keep that wife of mine happy. Otherwise, Jack Trudeau is going to have to come down there and say something to you about it. I know you're listening. This is normally internal monologue, but here we are. Jack Trudeau, I'd like to thank you for the broadcast tonight. Fans, for enduring uh, all of the fun that happens with uh, uh, internet calls. You know what it's like if you've been living in the... Uh, the pandemic era, which we all have been, uh, trying to deal with video conferencing and everything, people cutting in and out. It happens sometimes. So thanks for the tolerance on that. 21-17, your final score. Jack Trudeau, you have a good one, and you guys yeah. take care. Jack Trudeau saying good night and good luck. Greetings, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. This is Trojan 1979 again with DeRiddler. We had an amazing call last week that was to close out the week it was amazing and derivative is going to close out the week with us again we have this in one more game for you patrick g19 and charmart doing buffalo bills and houston oilers in the hollow man format now you had a game this week how did you enjoy the format oh i got a a w so i always enjoy that part of it spoiler (laughs) spoiler my my game won't get on this uh, telecast because it was too big of a victory take that I don't even remember who it was. That's how bad of a beatdown it was. Why don't you have no, yourself a summer shandy then for the victory? I am. Let's let's crack it open. Uh, I'll get oh, aqua. Yeah. I'm announcing later for uh, high school sports, so I have to uh, st- stay in the right frame of mind here. But uh, here we go. DeRiddler and Trojan call and Patrick G19 and Charmart. Now, I don't have really any time playing either one of these gentlemen. I, I want to say Charmart, what, did he make it into D-League and then get demoted? I- well, Charmart took over for somebody else. Uh, uh, he, he's pretty fresh off the boat. Uh, Patrick, I haven't played at all, but, uh, you know, so this ought to be an interesting game and see how this goes here. We got two elite teams, so a lot of garbage is going to happen when you see this matchup. And then you put that kind of speed with a guy that disappears, and I'm expecting a high-scoring game. And again, if you're just stumbling, we've mentioned it on the previous recordings, but the ball carrier will disappear and reappear for a couple seconds at a time, two, three seconds. And that is going to make for some interesting gameplay. Here is Smith out of the end zone, breaks a tackle, breaks another out of See, sight. Right, right there, you got to get Don Smith out of there. That needs to be Jamie Mueller. And uh, look at our playbook. Again, you can tell we got some newer guys here um, with some of the plays that are in there, like that run three, for example. And this is a good education moment here for those players. And anyone else that may be new to Tecmo, we all start somewhere, Ooh. right? That's right. And, I mean, I learned by watching and listening to ugly people like myself. And uh, I apologize those you have to actually see my face this week. I will blink Kevin Molnar. And uh, I want to thank you again, Shotgun, for helping pay for this webcam. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Shotgun uh, was not on the donors list. We'll just uh, leave it at that. But uh, hypothetically, if he had, he would have paid for the microphone. Or the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the webcam. So, uh, are, are you going to lean that way? Because I'm going to move you in the frame. Yeah. All right. Now, now you're center. Okay. Front and center. Uh, good defense there. Uh, Dick Dick jumped up and knocked it down. Um, I'm kind of curious why he did this run three when the run and shoot run three is the best run on Tecmo. 
I think well, this is now, the now where's he at? Where's he at? I think this is the Bills default playbook, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that that could be it. Yeah, because it's the pitch. The pitch on the first play. So the run four goes with the pass one and the run one. Oh, that's interesting. You don't know who's got the ball there. Uh, I did notice uh, my opponent. I don't remember. They ran that run two. And I didn't know if he was going up or down. And that made a little bit of trouble for me. But uh, I did suggest it to AC Slater, my brother, and he, he told me he hated me for telling him to do that. They're like, right there, where's, the, where's he at? Where's he at? <laughs> First down and 10 on the run from Patrick G19 using Thurman Thomas. Um, you know, with with these default playbooks, there are obviously some optimal things, knowing the rosters on both sides of it. Hava Man makes all of this a little more wide open, as you mentioned. But you can fool, fool yourself as well. Yeah, what I did notice um, throughout the game, I definitely felt it favored the run game, but what I also noticed... Huge pass to Reed! And he's, there you go. Now he's grappled. By the way, the drones know where the player is. The human just doesn't. Yeah, so you had to watch the drones. So what I really saw was a really neat thing to do is throwing short. Like, and then, because once they catch, they don't know which way you juked. And going up and down, like throwing short was really beneficial. Childress knocked on its back. Now, Childress is sort of a liability with this quarterback and receiving core. 100% because he's only got 19 interceptions, so you'll get a lot of CCs, which stands for covered catch for those of you that are kind of new um, or refreshing yourself since your childhood on Tecmo. And the pitch on run one and how he did not get in the end zone is beyond me. He must have lost track of him himself and ran right back up in there. Now, if he's going to use that play – playbook there you could dive in with uh childress as a linebacker for lurch and the guys that have that 50 rp they are really easy to do with some of the 44s are a little bit harder to do it by the way there but, is uh, a um a, a, a pass a, a pass one that goes with this but for some reason the bills don't have it and there's the, oh, pitch. the pitch now that play oftentimes can over can beat the over uh, extension of the blitz. I see that very common where uh, you call that play and Thurman Thomas still gets huge gains. Yeah, um, defending these plays and stuff. It's been so long since I've had to defend them because not many people do run these the plays that we're seeing here. Um, and you'll after a few plays you'd figure it out. Like for example, there you could take Childress and you could dive on the run in the middle, and if not, you could get a a one-on-one -on -one tackle on the pitch to the bottom uh, as a way to stop it. Gerald McNeil out to the 16 and taken down. Low white, low rider was the MVP oh. of the last game that you and I called. And yeah, he had 21 carries, remember? We were having a blast. He's going to be back in. That's Lorenzo White. We are going to be the Lorenzo White show. Why not? I mean, every time he's on the, you know, we, it's it's done. It's done. When me and Nostradamus always did uh, calls, it was always about Lacey at halftime. And so now for me and you, it's going to be low white MVP. Here's the pitch. Here he comes. Where's he at? Where's he at? Disappear. Low rider. There he is again. He's gone. Where's he at? Oh, oh. The first goal. The first time he touched oh. the ball, the Bills get a, a fumble recovery. 3-0. Patrick over to Charmart. 3-0 here in the second quarter. And uh, just as, you know, we've, you probably jinx us, even though this game happened already, and we're recording it in a, in a NSV recording. <laughs> man, oh man, low right, not the not the right stuff this time for low white. So I can I can mention this now because we just revealed because we're actually in the, in the time frame of us playing the games. We are now starting week four already. Uh, so Borenzo White and Ultimate Grogan, I'll get a cover catch there, third down and three. So we're gonna see a lot of. Uh, low ball control in week four when that broadcast yeah, that'll comes be very, very interesting. See how many people adjust or just roll the dice. I could have done the Tiger King combination. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone in the cage, you can't get out of bounds. That would have been something. Yeah. I think everyone would have just quit. Oh, play action. No marker back in the end zone. Oh, can't get him. Ran out of room. Fourth down and three for Patrick. 
I had fun with this ROM, but this was this was definitely one of those controversial ROMs that people were, were not happy with. Mac, Mac was absolutely in love with it. In fact, he wrote me a letter, a uh, certified <laughs> letter, uh, and then he asked me to frame it and then uh, boost the post on Facebook for the millions and millions of fans. 6 nothing here, Patrick over Charmart after that fumble recovery. Full meter kick, and Drew there Hill's going to have a long way to go. So nothing too big on the white be, uh, fumble, being able to hold him to that field goal puts you a chance to still take the lead. Despite two possessions against QB Bills, you got to be pretty happy about that. 100%. Don't like that run four against Cord uh, Neely has been down there. I don't know if he's ever going to attempt to use him. Leonard Smith on defense, low white. Tap off past the marker taken down. Should be a first down. Ooh, a seven to four tap off right there. That's Rico territory. <laughs> yeah, but this is assuming, I mean, I, Patrick might not know about linebacker four lurches because we're going to find out right now. He doesn't. So for those of you that don't know what lurching is, that's when you dive in at the snap. Uh, we do permit that with linebackers, just not the DL. Uh, you have to popcorn a defender for or an offensive player first or go around the uh, tackle. And if it's a shotgun play, it doesn't matter. And that's a called play. Shane Collin with the drone sack, and it'll bring up third down and 18. Long way to go for Charmart. Yeah, and uh, Patrick, uh, I know I've already mentioned this Charmart when I mentioned him. If you ever have questions and whatnot, he, he shot me one or two. Hey, I'll, I'll help you out anytime I'm around. I'm getting to the end of the school year. I can help you even more uh, because people helped me out when I was getting started. Now I'm about you know, a little over three years in, and you know I've got to improve quite a bit. You better than me. Uh, you know, it's not whoop. saying much. Yeah. Covered catch. Debate. Six Debatable. on six crime there on the taps. I have my moments. Yeah, I made D League. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, you kicked butt in that. Kicked butt. All right, here we go. Had a very favorable matchup, but uh, thank you. There you go. In the middle of the field. Good. That play there is another one that you could take Cornelius Bennett and either get a one on one or force him to. Uh, go back up with Lorenzo White only being a 44, he won't get a ton of yards. If a guy's like a 56 or 63, if they reverse it, they're still going to get a ton of yards. But less than, I'd say, 44, a lot of times that's a good play. Oh, we got the choppers coming out. Chopper! And, uh, get to the chopper! He did not get taken down. Get down! Do it! <laughs> Third down and five, Patrick. That's a, that's a quality impersonation right there. Oh, thank you. Get down again. All right, there's only two, two, two Arnolds for the uh, for the broadcast. That's all you get. That's the, that's all they're paying me for here. First down and ten. A lot of runs here with the Oilers. Um, and again, this is probably you know uh, not knowing the numbers. The numbers with the Oilers, the Oilers receivers will get a lot of covered catches against the Bills DBs. Oh, pick oh, Blake another is low. fumble! On the here comes Shane Conley. Can he get away from the drones? Oh man, he's juiced. He's juiced. Zigging, zagging, popcorn. Get up me, little boy. Let's go. 35, 30, and a half. Can you make it? 20. Zigzagging. He's in. He's in. Zigzagging. Shane, Colin, yeah. touchdown, Patrick. Where'd he go? He went, to the tunnel. Goes, he went to the tunnel. I didn't see him. He did a Bo Jackson. He ran right into the tunnel. Oh, my God. Man. Bo Jackson says hello. 13 nothing here at halftime. On the Scott Norwood kick. Charmart oh. has a long way to go. Hopefully Lacey doesn't disappear. Come on, Lacey. Let's go. Come on, Lacey! Hell, hell in chat for Lacey. Let's go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, she's going to wink at you! Oh, hey, oh no! 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 Man. They, no! Knew my wife might, they knew my wife might come home any minute. They didn't want to get me in trouble. Oh. Whew. Oh. She was gonna wink at me. I saw it, saw the look in her eyes. Cheers! Cheers! Let's. We'll have to tip one for her memory. Clearing, clearing the Tecmo internet history. <laughs> I don't know which player was responsible, but man, low rider, dude. What is it with our games that he is like MVP? It. Except for he's, he's right now he's LVP. He's coughed it up twice already. Oh man. Well, maybe maybe he'll redeem himself. First down and 10 for Charmart. Just needs to get something on the board and get a stop. Not checking conditions much either. 
Now they, they may. No. Ha I don't know if they use. I checker. don't think they don't. I don't think they have it quite yet, based off of the guys that they've been using and whatnot. Uh, I had been bringing in uh, the water receiver two. There, there you go. There's a pass up the hill. Touchdown! A wide open. That's, boom, boom, boom. That's money. And he went to. The, he was in the stands. I saw it. I saw him. He was in the stands. So we had brought up the condition checker a couple times in the broadcast, and I'm still going to, you know, for future and maybe next season, a, a, a different layout that I can incorporate or scene switch of some kind because it just looks so funky, and I chose not to bring it back, uh, putting it over the top. So we, we will uh, try to incorporate condition checker into future broadcasts, but right now getting the games to you is the first priority, and I, I don't have a... A sexy layout for that right yeah, now. Yeah, so. my, my only suggestion would be that you'd have it up on your computer at home that's on a side. Sidebar, you could just tell if there's something that was important, you know? Because most conditions don't matter that much. There you go. But like if you saw, oh, Bruce Smith's in good condition, you could you could inform us. As a suggestion. Okay. Obviously, we know this is a Chinese dictatorship. Um, absolutely. China will grow larger. <laughs> oh, the draw! Uh, that was a terrible drawing for uh, second time. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> it looks like a third grader drew it. So I shouldn't be in the playbook. Yeah, that's a pretty rough one. Um, and a pick play Cold now. Play. Oh, oh no! Bubble! Bubble! Get the ball! He's gone. Cole Dishman, go! Oh. Oh man! First down. Thirteen ten. seven, Whoa. and just like that, the Oilers. Driving. It was was that your um, Jack Trudeau impression? I don't know what I was. That doing. was just pretty close. I, I, mean, I think I got. I don't everyone know. Everyone liked the Jack Trudeau uh, broadcast earlier uh, in this in this slew of games. Here's Heck yeah, man, he's great. Second down and ten. Charmart trailing by six. His only score came on a deep bomb to Drew Hill. Turnover is the story in this one, too, by Low White. Where's he at? Oh, he's no clue. The, I think he got ran in the middle and got tackled. Third and four. You know, in, in discussions, I think I have a missed opportunity with this theme. I should have, uh, with it being Kevin Bacon in Hollow Man, I should have put the Hogs in as the uh, offensive line for every team. <laughs> oh, Low White! There's a JJ to low white to the 31 and a first down does not fumble it. Less than a minute of techno time here. 49 seconds for Charmart. Yeah. In the third. Single back, top hash mark, Mark oh, Kelso. Mark Kelso. And there is no deflection, and Drew Hill with the Drew burner. Hill. A little hike and strike action, and that is going to, assuming the extra point, is going to take the lead. Yeah, unless he loses track of the arrow. <laughs> Just double. Where'd he go? You can Where'd drop he go? the controller and have a good chance of kicking it. Not when you had Ray Finkel, though. Ray Finkel missed one, you said, didn't he? I think, yeah, we, I didn't. I don't remember if we made the broadcast. You know, it was it was the shotgun broadcast, if I remember correctly, that I had with uh, Viking Mole that had technical difficulties and since shotgun wasn't in the tournament anymore. Thanks, shotgun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks for buying his beer. <laughs> Did you know shotgun actually gave us his uh, social security number and his uh, debit pin? Welcome to the fourth quarter, 13-14 in favor of Charmart. All right, got a chance here. Charmart's on a 14-0 run. Oh, oh, Ray Childers not giving a shit. Just getting in there. That was like old 70s football where the guy clotheslines him, and then they put in the, the growling bear sound. <laughs> <laughs> and Play X, where's he at? Wants Couldn't read. find him. Got the di holy diver. No, third and 15. We're at 431 technical time here. Important down a distance, uh, Patrick. It's two down territory. You gotta do it. Yeah, he's let 14 unanswered go right now. He needs to get something going. Being stalked. Oh, oh. oh let's it go. Wants James Lofton. Love it in the elevator. This is, I'm a Hall of Famer. I'm a Hall of Famer. 
He he's definitely uh -oh. in bad. Look how slow he is right now. He went gold jacket on him right there. Oh man, he does not like the little James Lofton old, but QB Bill strike two. James Lofton and Patrick G19 takes the lead over Charmart. 20 to 14, your score. All right, does Charmart, do they have a blue light special? I don't know. This would be C Mart instead of Kmart. Kmart went out of business, so C Mart took over. Here we go. I don't even know what C Mart is. Is that like a regional thing? Or is it just no, what you're writing? I, 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 just, I just made it up. Oh, okay. That was a joke. Okay, I get it. It's just not a very good joke. No, I should remember who my players are in this. That's probably better when I'm just I'm so dense. <laughs> Jeff Ray's with a huge gain and getting all the way to the 41 on the Oilers side of the ball, or the 50, excuse me, first down and 10 for Charmart. Three minutes, plenty of time here. If you guys love Riddler, let us know in chat. I love Riddler. I love Lamp. I love Lamp. Oh, oh, don't get in between covered catch. First down and 10 for Charmart. Yep. It's not looking good here, Patrick. 60% of the time, that pass works every time. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Dude, get out in space. You got to get in space. Low rider just running directly into people. That's the strategy. <laughs> I think he, I would say he's probably about 14 carries in right now. And he'll oh, another Drew Hill again. Strike. He's got him. But he Three feet. Diver. Zigging, zigging. Take it down. Uh, oh, oh, he got it. No he matter. got in. Drew that's Hill. No Drew Hill with the hat trick. All important extra point. Charmark. And he ran right into the center. I tell you. <laughs> wait, a, I just, the, the resilience here of these guys, it's going back and forth, not uh, giving up with the, the turnovers. And now it's Patrick's turn. He's got a chance with the ball. Oh, said long be, way to go, though. Said high-scoring game. We got 41 points combined right now. I heard the the over-under was 42. So this is interesting here for all you degenerates. Crossfield to Keith McKellar. Oh, the got it! And a first down for Patrick G19. Oh, calling timeout. Needs to think about it. Uh-oh, run two. Oh. oh, play action got me! <laughs> so Ray Childress got him. Second and 15, time dwindling under a minute of techno time. He's, he's like the opposite Ray Charles. When he's Whenever he's blind to everybody else, he can see him. Ray, good job, Ray. And oh. uh, what, let's throw the guy with the worst hands, um, Jim Mueller there. <laughs> They're down in 15. Are we going to see some JJ junk here? I have no idea what we're going to see. Other than a conclusion of a Tecmo game, possibly one way or the other. Why are you throwing short? There's 20 seconds left! Right, Gotta get one away. Gotta get one away. What are you? Only once a field Oh my god. Boy. You can't get it there. Scott Norwood. Wide yeah. right! Wide yeah. right! And there's not enough <laughs> leg behind it. Yeah, Norwood Man. just doesn't have the... Um... Man, he came up short like Trojan. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it's been good for. <laughs> Man. And uh, wow, he's running a play instead of punting it. <laughs> he gives it to Low Rider. Oh, oh. He runs out of bounds. 21 to 20. Charmart over Patrick G19. That was a fun one. It was some. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 oh Runs only had like, nine carries. Yeah, but every time he touches it, it feels like he had 37. Um, yeah, just uh, there's obviously a lot of room for growth of these players, but we also like to let people know we don't just call, you know, games of elite players. We want to get learning opportunities for all involved. Um, and that's what this game was all about, uh, showing what's working, what isn't. And uh, people will be able to go back and say, remember this game? And they'll see yeah. how their progression is over the years with games that they're featuring in. By the way, yeah. if you uh, yeah. go, go ahead. Go ahead. I just, yeah, well, I'm not making fun of you guys. Trust me. No. You know, this is where we were, where I was at when I when I started. 
Um, but I, I, you know, I didn't have the opportunity to play in these kinds of tournaments at that point, you know, but I, I just, I'd watch some tutorials or watch some other people and get some advice just so that way, you know, when you do go higher up into some of those leagues, um, that you continue to have fun with the game. Cause that's the most important thing, having fun with the game and, and getting to hit, be able to laugh at ourselves and stuff. So. Well, excellent guys. All right. Hang tight. We have another game for you right after this. Well, you thought you could get rid of Thule, but you were wrong. This is Trojan with Thule, and we have a game between Trav G and Rico 33 still in the Hollow Man theme. Well, how's it going? I know we just, just did a game, but you have a wardrobe change, and so did I. If you thought you couldn't get rid of me, you should talk to my wife. Hello, Tecmo. Hello, Tecmo, indeed. Bengals, Bears, Hollow Man. I'd be terrified if one of these running backs got loose and you couldn't see him. Yeah, that's uh, this is going to be fun to watch uh, for that uh, purpose uh, or for that for that reason. You know, don't expect to see much uh, throwing, especially not in the coverage. So uh, runs and scrambles, and now you see me, now you don't. Hopefully the levels are okay here. Uh, getting some more headphone juice and more microphone juice for everyone. So I know that uh, things were a little off kilter last time. Trying to get you guys a little more. Uh, a little more of the color commentary, guys. I know Thule came through pretty well last time, but we had some of the other guys like Darth were a little quieter. But so we're just we're gonna err on the side of caution. You can always turn the volume knob down, right? Yeah, that's right. I guess if, uh, if, it's, if it's too loud, of course you can adjust. All right, here's the kickoff, and Muster disappears. There it goes. <laughs> just a reminder: players disappear and reappear the ball carriers uh, periodically, and that is in line with the hollow man where he would disappear after getting his injection. So here you see a uh, two back set uh, with a lot of people will play the bears, uh, you know, putting, splitting out one of the two uh, backers and uh, a receiver to give you a little more firepower there. But maybe with the hollow man a bit, uh, Rico deciding to play both running backs and just give himself optimal chances to, to bust them loose running that vulture. Second down and 10 here now to the pro set bottom hash mark. Ultra on defense, Trav G gets gobbled up by a blocker. <laughs> See there, I think Rico suffered from being being uh, invisible there. Uh, wasn't able to avoid the drone as he probably would have normally. We know that Kevin Bacon had, had an injection and then he uh, disappeared and then he wreaked havoc on everyone around him, and I'm just wondering if that's a euphemism for the uh, vaccine. Hey-oh. All right, fourth down and five for Rico third. Too soon. Hashtag too soon. Yeah, except everybody had to disappear until you get the vaccine. Oh, now okay. Is that what, how it worked? Okay. Now you're allowed to reappear, yeah. Um, there goes Icky Woods, scrambling out of, uh, shuffling out of bounds. My wife wishes I would disappear, too, so, I mean, we're, we're equal footing there. Yeah, I always joke with my wife that uh, my, our kids are still young. And they're my insurance policy. So once they get to be, like, graduating high school, I'm going to start having a food taster. <laughs> oh, you, you always can go uh, Melinda Gates, you know, uh, and, and just, you know, take half your fortune and just give it away to the world. I mean, obviously, Tecmo pays us millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, the, the Tecmo uh, strategy is right there up there with you know, uh, crypto and other forms of, of money making. James Brooks disappearing there, going to the top of the screen, and I had no idea where he was, and I don't think Rico did either. We got the Icky Woods run up the middle here. Uh, and run two. Uh, Boomer going to be able to Fumble. Do, do some scrambling, uh, you know, when he, when he uh, invises out of there. But I don't know what's what's going on with that Icky Woods run. If he's, uh, you could at least put Jennings in there for a little more speed. But maybe he wants to block him. Sorry, I had to adjust the levels there again. No problem. I generally talk in a loud voice. That's uh, one of my teacher attributes. You know, you just gotta project. Uh, if you want everyone to hear you. And uh, we're gonna leave you in anticipating here again. Another quick adjustment. <laughs> Just a notch down here for the video game itself. The way we have this setup, if I if I toggle out of the emulator intentionally, 
Uh, the game stops, and that's how we pause it. We've got a burner to nice. Eddie Brown. There he goes. Fast Eddie Brown. <laughs> with the burner. First down and 10 there with Boomer. Throwing that in there. Yeah, Cincinnati was one of my favorite teams, you know, playing uh, before I really started playing a lot of man-to-man -man games. And then just the, the speed of their receivers, uh, kind of, uh, they fell out of favor with me. Uh, you just don't get much separation with them. Fulcher is everything, and then having the mobility of a size and with a, a good running back to go with, uh, and a good line, it has its appeal, for sure. I feel like this is a uh, match where uh, this and Cincinnati KC and KC Chicago, if you've got the taps, that gives you a pretty distinct advantage. You can really exploit uh, both offensively and defensively. Uh, you're strong uh, running back, you're strong defender. Pass to Tim McGee, cross field in between everyone, and Trav G strikes first. That was a good drive. Yeah, very solid there. Not really any mistakes, and, uh, you know, punched it in after getting a stop. 7 0 your score here, Trav G over Rico as we go into the second quarter. One possession apiece, Rico looking to respond here. I think Rico's uh, having a beer during this game. I think he's having several. Several. All right. Let's see if we can muster up here on this return. Not much. Speaking of beer, I've depleted my entire supply of Yingling um, that Hawkeye sent me. It was uh, it was so damn good, and I can't get more. Um, yeah, it's like uh, the reverse of New Glarus. You know, you can't. Uh, although Yingling is, I think, more uh, widely available. Than yes, that that's true. You can only get New Glarus beer in. Wisconsin. It's kind of like the reward for having to live in Wisconsin. Ooh, nice. Oh! <laughs> I talk smack about football teams, but uh, ours is going through some potential uh, concerns with its quarterback. First down and 10 for Rico now near the 50-yard line. Yeah, you've got diva issues. It's uh, with the Lions, where I'm from. Uh, for years and years, they've been talking. Stafford's always played it straight and narrow, and been the company throughout the company line, but the talking heads have always been like, oh, they let Stafford off the hook, or they give him too much leeway. And... Oh, what a throw over Fulcher, Brad Muster, and out of bounds as he disappears there. Interesting if he would maybe try to juke first and goal from the six. Maybe he didn't want to tempt fate twice. So now we lost Stafford, and we'll see what Jared Goff can do. But I think we're in for a rebuild anyway, so no one's going to hold him to too high standards. He's been rebuilding for 30 years, and there's a touchdown to Brad Muster. Well, and we'll tie the game. Uh, yeah, we have some good players. We just can't win. You know, it's funny how that works. <laughs> yeah, it's Almost certainly like a culture thing. Yeah. But, I mean, we've, we've had franchise quarterbacks for 30 years. I know this is a repeated old take. You know, we should have more than two Super Bowls to show for it. I would argue we should have more Super Bowls with Aaron Rodgers than we should have had with Favre. Favre rode that defense in 96 too, and and really benefited from declining Cowboys that they couldn't handle. <laughs> well, I remember that Super Bowl that the Packers won. They beat the Steelers. And I remember the Steelers got the ball back like late in the fourth quarter with a chance to go down and win the game. And just the way that the Steelers had played like all year, I, I was kind of a Steelers fan too. I was like, they're going to win. Like, they're, they're just, I, I just know they're going to win. And I think it was like four and out. <laughs> like, they, they just did nothing on the last drive, and that was it. Yeah, and, and it looked like um, whoever they were throwing to may have gotten interfered with too uh, on that fourth down play. They kind of let it go as they do in the playoffs. Yeah, they certainly did the Lions against the, the Cowboys. You know, there's that Cowboys Lions or Cowboys Packers game where you know, the, the Cowboys kind of got screwed by a call. But the previous week, the Cowboys had extremely benefited by a bad call against the Lions. So, uh, you know, the Lions fans, even though it's the Packers, didn't feel bad for the Cowboys that week. <laughs> One or two compliment Trav G with a good cycle there on a cold play. It just, it didn't, the guy didn't catch the ball. And right up the middle of this run, four is. is working out there. James Brooks, where'd he go? Tap, tap, and taken down past the 35 to the 34-yard line. First down for Trav G. That is not where I expected him to be, Cotton. Bold move. 
Where is he now? I don't oh. know. He's down. He's down, unfortunately. But uh, if he can put points on the board, he gets the ball at halftime, he'll be in the driver's seat. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's some dangerous stuff into the very secondary third down and ten. Even with the size, and you can't just chuck it like that. And that's a pick play. Brooks run the wrong way, and uh, Jim Breach can hit this. Let's see if uh, he lines it up. Yeah, you don't have a great rush option. I and mean, Singletary can break through here. And he did. Oh, and he tackles a holder way to one, just a notch too long, and that was all it took. The arrow hey, was baby. straight. Hey, baby. I like that kind of party. Yeah. I like that kind of party, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite, like, uh, NFL films. Little promos of Singletary uh, being mic'd up for that game. We want winners. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good. Mike, they're playing the Packers in that game, and he's, he's he's telling this one guy, "Hey, if you see Sterling Sharp, if you hey, listen up." You know, he's like coaching up his, his teammates in the huddle. It's a really, it's a really good throw. I was watching uh, them dominate the Rams in a replay of uh, their the NFC Championship from their '85 run, and just crazy. They went back to back with uh, the shutouts. That just insane on wow. on how they dominated. And then I was reminded how just piss poor that field was before they switched to grass. And it's not even that great now to begin with. It's, but the playing service is just terrible. Oh, wow. Runs out of time. There goes Rico. Yeah. Rico was probably reaching for his beer. And uh... he may be underestimating Trav G here. I, I don't know what his uh, uh, Tecmo acumen is. But uh, he's certainly, you know, trading blows here with Rico. I know it's not 100% standard. But they're, bo they're both dealing with the same situation. And, and Trav G now in the driver's seat with the possession here in the second half. With a tie game. They say that when you hit 40, like everything starts to go downhill. We might be seeing a decline in Rico's, you know, like just reflexes and things like that. So, uh, boy, you are not kidding. Uh, <laughs> the, there's like this continuous brain fog that I have despite what I'm drinking, um, which has been water as of late. And, uh, I don't know if anyone has that, but, uh, yeah, uh, I haven't really uh, witnessed the decline yet, and then I've got older colleagues that are like, "Oh yeah, it's not you know, forty is fine." It's like, "How old I am?" That's what you got to worry about. I'm like, whatever. I definitely you know, trying to keep up with the kids is like, good lord, you know, where does this give you all this energy? The brain certainly has like a pitch count. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After at the, at the end of the day, as we're announcing games, uh, there's there's only so much. <laughs> yeah, bring in, bring in. and they need a bullpen. Yeah. My brain has Tommy John. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. And uh, fumble there. Bengals recover. Trav G dodges a bullet. Second and eight. Single back. Top hash mark. Pass one's the call. I can just imagine Rico like having absolutely no expression or reaction to that play. <laughs> Might be young at his children yeah. right now. Who knows? <laughs> and it's him. out to the 40. That's what I do. Uh, first down and 10. <laughs> Uh, I never play Tecmo with kids around. Um, it's always late at night, or I play at work if I can. Which is a nice way to spend the work day. Yeah, I, I can't get away with having a controller at work. That uh, I can I can do a lot of tournament management, spreadsheet stuff, whatever, um, or just you know following up with people on what's going on. But the oh, actual yeah. playing of a game, I mean, I can technically play a game, but it's on a keyboard, and it's going to be in a screen three inches wide to hide it from everyone, and that would be a problem. You can get a lot done with just uh, if it's three inches wide, you know? But, uh, hey! My, uh, my life as a professor, you know, I got my own office. I can shut my door, and you don't want to know what goes on in there. You know, nobody, nobody comes Ladies. knocking. Sounds like an adult film in the making. So what uh, what do you subject do you teach? Do you want to bore us to death real quick? Yeah, mathematics. One plus one, still two. Y still equals mx plus b. So nothing's changed. It's all pretty constant. And There's the a... constant is the score. It's been seven seven for quite a while. Yeah, this is. Uh, if you're not asleep yet, I'm getting let's, there. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh... <laughs> all right, what everyone happens. in chat, let's do some jumping jacks. Do some calisthenics. Absolutely. Have yourself a diamond. Do like I'm drinking. 
I'm probably gonna get kidney stones, but <laughs> it'll be a fun ride. This kidney stone brought to you by Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and Diet Mountain Dew. Also sponsored by Pfizer in their insulin. <laughs> I was telling myself I'm gonna stop drinking the stuff, and then oh, it was a sale, and then I got uh, I got it stacked up in my basement here. Second down in three. I used to drink a lot of that. Really cut down. Stay healthy, everyone. Yeah, they're worth they are worse vices to have. You know. Like All Tecmo. Right. Yeah. Oh. All right, so if you can manage a <laughs> zigging and zigging, he's gonna have to think about it. Okay, zig. Yeah. Should be able to get there. Should be. Oh, but oh. the drone gets him. He's Super he lost drone. his way. Sounds like an Adam Sandler bit. That's like a kind of run where you would you would never get caught uh, uh, in real like on the concept. Uh oh, oh the this throw is, is dangerous. Good. Not good. Oh. Okay. He like loves console, that play. On console, you would not get caught. You know, these, these are things that sometimes just the the, the the online where you just the timing's a little bit different. You know, about when you make your cut, and uh, so those are things that definitely play differently. I feel like online compared to on the console. Second down and goal from the eight in a tie game here in the fourth quarter. It's been. 7-7 for quite a while, third down and goal from the five. Yeah, not making it easy on him here. It's uh, been a real chess match this game. A lot of call plays, a lot of, uh, <clears throat> a lot of invisible guy coming into play there. There we go. Well, Rico taking the lead here for the first time. 14, or 13 unanswered here. Uh, about to be 14 after the extra point. Yeah, so Trav's gonna have to have another drive like his first one. His first drive, he really marched down and uh, played real nicely and didn't make any mistakes. So, you know, if uh, you can avoid the call plays, you expect to see, uh, see another one of those. But uh, Rico can get in his head and he can put this one away. Here we go. <laughs> first it's like down. Marco, it's like Marco Polo, you know, they played Marco Polo in the swimming pool. Absolutely. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> There's just entertaining uh, moments there of just trying to identify where do you think he went, and then when he arrived, it's like we're, you're playing the over-under in your head on where he's going to land as far as the yard line. Yeah. Which spot would be the least... Nice juking by Sice and out of sight, out of mind for Trav G and getting a third down and two. This is shaping up to be a good finish, at least a regulation. You know, I can kind of see... Uh, oh, here he goes. James Brooks rumbling, bumbling, juking, breaking ankles. 25, 20, 15, out of bounds of the 15 and a first down. He gave away a few yards there, but uh, now sitting pretty. Yeah, you don't want to score with too much time left. Oh, to the top and in the end zone. So uh, we'll see if Rico can respond here. But I um, mean, I think priority one is to get the game tied. Yeah, not too, not too bad of a result if you're Rico. You get the the ball in your hand. Um, all you need is three. So give him a chance to win it here, regulation, and not rely on the coin flip. I actually wrote into a radio station today because they were talking about the Bears uh, picking uh, fields, you know, and how the Bears have been struggling with no quarterback, and they mentioned Harbaugh, and, you know, I, I sent in something like, Harbaugh's so bad, he's worse than his backup on Tecmo Super Bowl. As you should have. Well done, yeah. sir. I do the Lord's get, work. I thought it might get red, but it didn't get red. At least not while I was listening. I was kind of in the car. The so. DJs are probably like 25 now. Instead of uh, you know forty five, and that'll well, be the difference. These guys are older. This show particularly, they'll they'll play a lot of old video game stuff. They used to do a segment with like uh, NHL ninety four or ninety five music and stuff like that. So I was like, ah, if anybody's gonna read this, it's these guys. I'm praying it's ninety four. 
Yeah, I, I know you're in the '94 camp, and uh, you got the hustler tournament going on now for the Super Nintendo. We filled up full 32 uh, on that, so a lot of love. We had the Genesis Finals last night. Um, they're over on my Twitch channel and my YouTube channel, and uh, King Raph was victorious. Uh, really, really leveraged that. Uh, and Scribe played some amazing NHL 94, but Raph was just better. Yeah, and Raph is one of the like top guys. Him and the Angry Jay fella, right? They're kind of yep. two. Top and Angry guys. Jay had won a previous qualifier and wasn't eligible to play in it, so he played. He did something kind of funny. He'll imagine like if you took the Patriots and played with all their backups. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what he did. He could take all the worst play. Like we had someone dropped out due to a, a family tragedy. He starts playing with the Ducks and he puts like the backup goalie in and the. Uh, I mean, the Ducks are, like, arguably one of the worst teams that there is in the game to start with. And then he's well, playing with the backups. What do you think here? Would you, would you trust Butler? Well, you got two seconds it's left. Long, it's a long kick. Yeah, I mean, if it's short, you go to overtime. But uh, plus you get your play called. So I don't know what Butler's uh, condition is. Well, I think you take the he's shot not, here. He's, um, he's not the best kicker. Take the shot, see what happens. And, and if not, you... Now he's gonna. I think maybe. Well, he's not gonna do that. I. I don't remember. Was he 38, 40? Maybe. No, he's maybe he's maybe too far back. You might be right. He's pretty far back. Yeah. yeah I thought he was closer to the fifty. All right. Well, get a shot here. Tom's that going to Robocop? Thornton. Oh, can't believe that didn't work. Spent all that time uh, <laughs> changing his guys around. Oh, it's late. It is late, but that was some funny <laughs> shit. Oh, <laughs> Jim, like without dropping a beat. I can't believe that didn't work. <laughs> there are people there that they're like, "Why would that work?" Or what? They don't get why that's hilarious. Oh God. Well, Rico has another chance here. He won the the flip for overtime. It's uh, first points win. There's nothing. Uh, yeah, maybe that throw was like a sacrifice to the Tecmo gods or something, you know? Like, I will not win on garbage in regulation. And they got him the coin toss. Well, I'll say that, you know, we we are thankful to the Tecmo gods that we have an overtime game. Um, you know, this is an overtime. Go to bed. Yeah, who wants that? Absolutely. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Kept Bozo, actually, a player in the, uh, the original Tecmo game. Known yeah, for that, that indefensible a, slant. Yeah, right. There's a Cap Bozo play, right. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit into the original Tecmo or playing some, but... Uh, That's coming. Just, this summer. So far, so far behind the, 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 uh, the eight ball there. I do, have a, I do have the cartridge, though. Maybe I can bust it out and and uh, re-familiarize myself with it. We're going to have a fun summer qualifier. We hope that most Tecmo Super Bowl players are willing to give it a try, give enough people enough games to make it worth their while. Um, the skills translate. You just the, the, the whole throwing interceptions and then knowing you can't – like tapping your opponent doesn't – once you grapple with a, a person, you have to be bumped by a blocker to run free. That's kind of refreshing. Let's be a Rico's right, dream. Fourth down. Oh, man. I like your ability to play defense. I'd probably punt here. But that's why I'm me, and Rico is the tech moment. Oh, getting up to Wendell Davis. He's got, got him. Boy, that was like 50-50. What are we doing here? Fulcher all over the field, but first down for Rico. And uh, that was critical. That was Trav G's chance to uh, close this thing out. Yeah, frustrating if you're on the playing defense there. You figure you've got a, a punt. You're going to force a punt. Oh, nice job. Vulture ran into the stands. Uh, maybe you saw, a, <laughs> a, I don't know, a lovely female in there. I don't know. Uh, first down and 10. Yeah, that was the riverfront leap right there. And pick play, run four. Nowhere to go. Second and 10 for Rico. That's uh, a scary moment if you're Rico. That's game over. It's a fumble. If uh, no one scores, Trav G will get the next kickoff in the next overtime, which would just be a brand new game. 
For those of you wondering how this works, third down and nine here, just one yard. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of surprised you didn't just uh, sort of allow ties for this round. It, I guess it doesn't make very good, uh, very good uh, drama, you know, for for ties because ties in Swiss is like, you know, it's it's doable. Well, the the head to head, if the if the the, the meet the book hole score is the same, uh, then you have a then you have that going for you. So fourth down and three. <laughs> Here it comes. That looks good. It is good. good but what about the? Okay, I don't because you couldn't see the two. Oh right? yeah, you you're right. Or not, so. <laughs> it looks good. I, 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 yeah, I just assumed that we would see that, and because it was being held, Hollow Man took over. Well, that one's done. Are you guys asleep yet? Because <laughs> there's going to be at least one more game coming for you here on the broadcast. So, Tuli, oh. thanks for going back to back with us uh, yeah, to was, get this one in. I was going to warm up my lullaby chords there, so but you got one more game, so I'll hold off. All right. Maybe, maybe next time. Trojan, you you got to be the guy for that anyway. You got that uh, that sweet, mellow, buttery voice, as I believe it was described. I should have prepared a song for everyone, and but uh, <laughs> until then, appreciate you guys watching. Truly appreciate you calling it, and uh, hang tight, guys. We got one more for you. This is Trojan and a Drinking Man. <sighs> Oh, sounds delicious. How's it going, Driller? Dr. Driller here, drinking me some Lion Kugel Summer Ale here. Feel like calling a little Tecmo matchup. You're, you can be all right there. <laughs> I'll be better after another beer, too. Back-to-back <laughs> uh, -back games with Driller, thank you, uh, as always. Uh, you get Thule and Eddie Z here. It should be a good one. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is a, a matchup that you called uh, against me in the Shield Tournament. And uh, how do you remember these things? How be, do you remember? Because uh, I, it's the last time that uh, you and I played live. I can't, and, I can't remember who who won that game. Uh, someone, uh, not me, did uh, someone not named Trojan and uh, one big, one big. Uh, yeah, I, I was Pittsburgh heavy that weekend. Oh. You played well. Um, yeah. And uh, we have this matchup for you, Thule calling it Eddie Z taking the Bucks and Hollow Man theme still in effect. So ball, pair, go, me, ah, ball carriers are going to disappear. <laughs> Uh, and reappear every few seconds. So let's get right into it. Thule, Eddie Z, you can talk about the breakdown of these two teams and what to look out for. Yeah, this is kind of a, one of those trap matches. Um, if you're really good on the defensive end, Pittsburgh really gets after that Tampa def defensive line or offensive line and makes Vinny run around. I know he's fast, uh, but it limits his ability to run for yardage because you'll get chased down by Lloyd and – and the other guys that are little and stuff like that will chase him down, as well as uh, some of the DBs like Woodson and Lake. Um, and then offensively, uh, Tampa's defense is actually quite putrid except for Haddix. So as long as you just stay away from Haddix, everything else is really open game for Pittsburgh. Um, and I feel like you can kind of take small chunks of yard down, down the field, and especially if you have the taps, you, you have the ability to – to get some more out of it. Um, so this is one of those that's a, it's a fun matchup. You don't get see, uh, called a lot, but can make things really interesting. So per your suggestion, we are going to have condition checker up on my screen and we can reference it, it later on, but I'm not going to have it up for everyone else. We'll, we'll call it some notable conditions. Yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the best way to go. We keep a great layout um, dominated by beauty such as ourselves. And uh, sexy oh, son of a bitch. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, you know, good thing we don't have uh, the Bolsheviks of Nostradamus and uh, and Sammy Smith making us look bad over here. But uh, we'll be able to tell you if something big happens uh, to keep an eye on during the game. I'll tell you what, I was certainly confused about my sexuality at Thunder Bowl. I'll tell you, that was unbelievable. Uh, Anderson kicking <laughs> off to R.I.P. Cobb. Uh, he, he died during the course of one of our tournaments. And uh, we, we did some too soon moments uh, for... Sand was even on top of him yet. First down and 10. And let's see how Eddie Z handles this first possession. I see he's got the run two and pass four combo. Yeah, formation. thanks for bringing us into the morose world there, Trojan. Yes, yes, this, this is what I do. I ruin everything. <laughs> oh, where, where's he at? Somebody reappeared somewhere. He could have been down in the ground. Who knows? He was on you the ground. You, you might have dug a hole for him. Run four. Oh, 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 oh,
runs right that's into crazy a party. That he did take a dive. That's that's an interesting way to do it there, Tuli. You know, it is always one of those great anomalies. Like, why is Vinny Testaverde fast in this game when he's a statue in real life? Um, Jump! I think a lot of it had to do with how often the quarterbacks were sacked, and then they would have to uh, scramble as a result with the poor offensive lines. So you see that with uh, the likes of, um, help me out, Philadelphia. Uh, you see it with the likes of... QB Browns? QB Browns, and then uh, the Lions are the other team that, that really just struggle there. Yeah, but Rodney Pete was actually somewhat fast in real life. I mean, he wasn't a 31. He probably should have been like a 19. Randall Cunningham, obviously, was fast. And then Bernie Kozar was – he was even slower than than Testa Verde. But, but, hey, that's why we love Tecmo for all of its flaws. And I want to love what Thule here – great defense, by the way. Uh, he's got that pass one play action to go with all this junk here. Oh, look, well, Tim Whirlybird. To the 31, 36, excuse me, in a first down. Yeah, Tuli's known for doing kind of like uh, playbooks that are not ones you see all the time. Um, every time I play him, he's always got one or two something in there. He's got the Packers pass two out of the default playbook right now. I'm so I'm so happy. Yeah, I think he's he's a college professor, and so he just tries to be smarter than the rest of us. Damn you, Tuli! From the top, hash mark, pick play. This is run four and looking at third down and 10. All right. I'm, I am curious, though, how hard it would be to find them on the play action. But we're going to find out. There he is. Oh, oh no. He's got one guy. Wow. Underneath, he's got, yep, I, I uh, Eric think, Green. Did the deep guy stop on that play? Uh, I deep. think guy uh, goes you know, looks like he slants up to the middle because i was wondering why he stayed back because i was like the only guy that's open is that guy and he uh, he allowed that drop off there and if you don't call those plays yourself you don't have that baked into your memory yeah second down and three nice can there on first here. down yep. and underneath does not get the diver he was hoping to get the haddock's diver but uh warren williams with the reception at a first down and, and Tuli's matriculating down the field here with Bubby Brister. Pick play, pick play! And Ruben Davis with the sack. Mmm, Ruben. Sounds delicious. You'll have to settle for your beer. Mm hmm Another pick play. It's been a lot of that today for uh, Eddie Z already picking several of Tuli's plays. Third down and 15 for Tuli in field goal range already. And there's a bump. Uh -oh. Williams... Unable to get underneath, gets gobbled up there. Fourth down and nine, and here comes a Gary Anderson attempt. Yeah, that's the downside of the Steelers. They have no explosion. Field goal should be good. Oh, it's oh! out! No! Oh, no! no! Lancaster Jinx! Sorry, Tully! Speaking <laughs> of explosions, let's get some eggplant emojis in chat. Here comes Eddie Z. Carnal Lake on defense for Tuli and Run! There he goes. Vinny. <laughs> and out Where's of he bounds. <laughs> Man, the Tuli's taking cheap shots after the whistle. All right, so Mike Malarkey is in good. Green is in bad. David Little is in good, along with Brian Hinkle. Rod Woodson is in bad. Uh, Mark Carrier and Danny Peebles and Ron Hall and Randy Grimes all in good. Yeah, most watch of, out. Most of the defense for Tampa Bay is in average, with the exception of Kevin Murphy and Mark Robinson being in bad. Steve Christie isn't good at 75 kicking ability. Good block up top. Jerry Curl coughs it up! Picked up by the Bucks And a first down. first down. It's the Holy Roller offense. Second quarter here. Tied game, Eddie Z against Thule. Eddie Z driving. Got lots of options. He's going to run it again. Taken down on the scramble, second down and two. Trojan with Derrida here in the Hollow Man theme. Final game of the week. Seems to be kind of apprehensive to throwing against Rod. Over the top, Bad Woodson. We got it that time, Gary. Or, Oh, man. And then Rod Woodson was doing dirty things to a ghost. Rod Woodson isn't bad. That might be why he didn't get there. Um, touchdown good. and... Look at that. Now we have condition checker and it's applicable to the situation. 7 nothing. Who'd have thought? This guy. A little bit. I see you. I think half of it is remembering, too. 
I've, I, uh, I've only recently started using it, and it's um, something I didn't do for so long. Man, oh, nice return. Tuli is known for being a good kick returner. He, uh, he always, in all the, like, hack rom leagues that we have, he's always one of the better kick returner guys. Greg Bell, nice return out to the 18. Brister. Got the middle guy. Scrambling. Six yards. Let's call it five, second and five. 232. That, with the Steelers, that can be somewhat troublesome for a time, especially with Brister. You're not going to want to throw it deep. So I'll be interested to watch how this clock evolves here. Willie Bird gets the tap. Bump off. Oh, he's out. still alive! Wow. I was gonna say, we thought he was an endangered species, and now the bird is out of bounds. First down and 10. 159 Man, I... remaining here in the second. I think birds, I thought you were the only dodo around here. Ayo. One of the privileges of interacting with me is that you get to rip on me constantly. Yeah. And it's the we, only we all take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. As you should. E even people that don't interact with me, like the shield, uh, interact <laughs> with me like that. <laughs> oh, shield. Oh, shield. Why are you not playing this tournament? Defending full Nelson champion. Giving somebody else a chance. Giving somebody else a chance. Uh, he didn't win this tournament last year, so... Gats is the is the champion that did chose not to defend his crown. And who beat Gats at Tundra Bowl? Um, I don't know. Probably a loser. He ended up being eventually. What kind of reputation do you have to have if everyone said, "Hey, I beat him," even though I lost, and that was the one thing they bragged about? I've done the same thing because <laughs> I beat him one time the last time before this year that I was there. Hey, Gary Anderson's gonna try again. First, you don't succeed. Kick it in the H. Three. Yes. Seven. And he's over Tuli yeah. right now in the second. I mean, of all things, you, you, you beat back-to-back -back Madison champs, Air Potempo, and and, uh, and Gats, and then you lose to a guy like Flo. Jeez. Flo. I love you, Flo. He can pour it on when he wants to. I think that's the, the key. I was just giving Flo crap because he's, he's a fun guy to be with. He, he's good shit. Yeah, he's fun to hang out with. All right, so Tuli right now is finding himself down seven to three, 46 seconds. If he can uh, survive uh, some deep cheese here, uh, he'll be all right getting the ball to start the second half. Sounds delicious. Dwayne Ritter, fine defense. Particular favorite flavor of deep cheese? Um, I don't know. You, I, I, I don't know. You seem to be pretty excited about deep cheese. <laughs> First I mean, you guys, you're from Wisconsin. I didn't know. Maybe you guys have a special I'm actually like toast intolerant, but I, uh, I pay the price every time. <laughs> That's bad choice of living condition in <laughs> Wisconsin. Born and raised, man. Born and raised. 19 seconds. Here we go. We're going to see it fly. No, we're not. Another called play. Taken down by Greg Lloyd, drone sack. Pick play third and 19. Lloyd, Lloyd. And... He's got to get Anderson over in a wide receiver territory here at 50 MS. Yeah. Yeah, it was a mistake. He's not going to have time to – well, he, oh, he hasn't charged his play yet. Is he going to remember? Because you're talking about right now looking at – Another carry. call play. That's three of them in a row. Carrier at 50 MS right now uh, and pick play and no go. So welcome to halftime. 7-3, Eddie Z over Thule. Trojan Winter Riddler, last game of the Hollow Man broadcast. Glad you're with us. Hey, by the way, just take a moment and smash that like button on the video. It helps us a lot. Uh, all funds from ad revenue this year will go to the hey. Sports Camera Championship. Oh, and you see that? You see that what she just did there? No. That girl, when she was blowing a kiss to me, she had to close her eyes. Oh, That's wow. how. Yeah, she was into it. Ooh. Ladies. 8-bit style. All right, first down and ten for Thule. Uh But yeah, all the all the funds uh, that are generated from ad revenue on the Retro Sports Gamer channel uh, go to uh, funding the live event called the Retro Sports Gamer Championship. It's a multi-game tournament held in the first part, usually either January or February every year in Chicago, Illinois, and it's free to attend for all people that watch 
the content here or go to live events of theirs. So um, went to it last year. DPS really uh, cleaned up, uh, won all but one of the tournaments, and was absolutely amazing. And uh, it was fun, even though I got my uh, butt handed to me in pretty much everything I played. It was still a tremendous experience. First down and 10 here for Thule, who's trailing by four. And he's had a lot of pay, uh, plays, Peta. you got to think he's going to get some momentum here eventually. Yeah. Running right at Haddix to start. Oh, I got a bump. Can he fuck? Uh, he didn't know where his guy was at, how close to the side. Because the drone was coming up at him. And you know he had to try to avoid him, but a little too far high, and he ran out of bounds. This time, run. Four. I was hoping you want him to disappear. Yep, there you go. I like how he's patient with that. Unfortunately, the blockers didn't get there in time to give him freedom. Can we get a condition update here to see if oh, yes, uh, any of those Steelers guys got in a good condition here? Because Strom yeah, isn't uh, good. Hodge, is, Hodge went into bad. Larky is still in good. Mark Carrier and Peebles still in good. Carl Bax is in good. Randy Graham's back into average. He's going to um, put Strom in there. Strom's at 19 max speed. Steve Christie is an excellent, so he can kick him from a mile away. He's got Nick Lowry legs right now. Tulu's got to be a little concerned here. He's down 7-3, to three and he had to punt. If you give him a touchdown, that might even be GG. you got to hold him to, you know, 3. Just this not a lot of speed on the field for him. Yeah. I expect him to step up here knowing Tulu, though. We'll see what Eddie's got, man. And uh, Thomas Everett is in good. So you can see him definitely be used right now, basically, as far as movement is concerned. Rod Woodson, Woodruff, Everett, and Link all have the same stats. Except Woodson's yeah. got 50 RP, but everyone else is 38-44. Oh, no. Everett oh, just not that fast enough. Ruined. Caught a slow step in there somewhere, and, and Eddie survives. Move the chains, he says. Move the chains. Everett, tapping. Oh, 14. Anderson is loose. Taps Hashtag don't taps don't matter. Zigging, zagging, 30. 25, 20. Out of bounds near the 17-yard line and a first down in the red zone for Eddie Z. That's my broadcaster broadcast. He threw that out, that 14 out of there out of nowhere. Got him. Uh, hiking strike. Can he get Carrier? Oh! oh! Carrier's down at the bottom, is he? He is. Who's he got at top? Uh, we'll find out. I'm going to assume Peebles. Because he's got Ron Hall at tight end. Yeah, Ron Hall's whitey. He's on yeah. the line right now. No, I know he's tight end. Dumping it off. Put him oh, top no. of Peebles and the deflection. Third down. Is that third down? Fourth and it 15. Was. Here we go. So here comes Christie. Should be a slow bar here. Lloyd does get in there, though. Oh, double tap. Nailed it right away. Wow. I don't think that thing would have gotten back up in time. That arrow was moving slow. Do you think he saw it and just hit it right away? Or do I you think, think so. He... Wow. That's a great kick, Eddie. Well, he's up seven, uh, so Thule needing to find a way to get in the end zone here in the fourth quarter unless he gets a return that takes him there now. He's got 44 max speed kick returner. He's running backwards, <laughs> trying to lose him. All right, let's All right. get a condition check update. All right, so we're live. Strom still in good. Um, Strom has been in. Hinkle uh, on the outside, the LB4 is in good. Uh, Gerald Williams, the nose tackle, has uh, 63 hitting power now in good. Uh, so he could be an issue when the ball comes the other way. A lot of bad conditions uh, for the Steelers on offense right now. Strong throw, luscious loose lips. lips. Luscious lips. Oh, Ooh. knocked down. Just over his hands, could not get up to get it. Second down and 10. Yeah, right now, lips... And Bell and Williams are the only viable weapons on offense. And pick play, runs out of bounds, can't get the completed pass. Third down and 10. 
This is big right here. Williams gets the bump. Oh, got the here bump. he goes. Here he goes. Oh, near the First marker. No, they didn't no. give it to him. And Eddie get in his head. This is it. Oh, he's got a motion play. The play. They called it. He got it. He got it. He got he it. Got it. Anyway. Got it on the called play. Cajon wow. up the middle on fourth and one. The obvious call, and he gets it. Right back to that play. Well, it popped outside. Haddock Williams. had no idea where he was at that time. Wow. Did every he did everything he could. He called the play. Found a gap. First down. Tuli doesn't give up. Tuli is a uh, is a gamer, that's for sure. Eddie's he playing good ball as well here. And Strom with a scramble go. at 19 MS. Good strategy there. Second and four. Uh, time not a factor yet, but it will be soon. Now, this has been a solid, solid game for Eddie. He's been able to slow Tuli up the entire game. He had him, he had him dead to right. Third and eight. These are the kinds of games that, uh, you know, when you're the underdog, you know, like Eddie is here, like it's like, oh man, I had a chance to put it away with the touchdown, but I just settled for a field goal. Now it's like, can I hold on? He's been stopping him the whole game. But does he have one more stop in him? Important down here, third and eight. And there's that run three. And Bell against he got the green. Again. Now, uh -oh, that's trouble. huge game. That's 35. trouble. 35. Out of bounds to the 30 yard line of the first down for Thule, probably his biggest play. First down and 10. Yeah, and what we're looking at right now is if he does score, the way the time is going, we, are, we could be looking at an overtime situation. The pitch. No! The bump! Yep, they keep the seeing bump. this over and over, and Bell is now having himself a day on the ground at the 18-yard line and a first down. You could got to take on that uh, DB, or the wide receiver right there with the DB, instead of uh, trying to go around him because he's coming Heiken back strikes to the strikes a Lewis Lips in the end zone touchdown, and just like that. Lewis Lips, six ships. Rick Stromster riding out the Strom. There is a lot of time here for Eddie to come back down and strike. We'll but you also have to he, worry about is he put, playing against that Steelers defense. And, is he put Anderson in the field, though, so he doesn't only have two pass plays to call? You know, you can go the 50-50 on those. I, there's enough time. You can still run some offense. All you need is a field goal. You know, especially with this hollow man. If you can rip off a 25-yard run. We'll see what's going to happen yeah, here. Absolutely. First down and 10 here. Pitched One to the top. Anderson, Jerry Curl Anderson with no gain, second and 10. That's where you got a reverse field. Make him try to find you. There you go. Nice play by Eddie. Danny Peebles with a reception and a first down. Time's running, though. Call play right away. You have to have it. That cut screen's got to help you out. There you go. Good. Well done. Appreciated the uh, cut scene when he was clued past the marker. <laughs> There's the Get pitch. Chance to process. Jerry Cole. Jerry oh, Cole with the bounce off and gets eight yards, 43 seconds remaining. You got about a player or two before you have to take a shot. The pitch, run three. Good. Choppa. Like the get to the choppa. There you go. And he gets yes. down to the 35. Steve, he can maybe get in the field goal He's got range. Steve yep. Christie. He's got excellent Steve Christie right yep. now. I don't know if he knows that he has that, but he might be able to kick that from like the 40 yard line. No. You had the guy short, and you could have gotten the field goal range. Now you got to throw it deep. Now you got to get Gary Anderson has to come in at receiver. I'm just wondering if the run three, if he keeps Gary Anderson, maybe he can still get out of bounds in time. He needs too many yards. Look, I mean, he's not going to pick up 15 yards that amount of time, is he? Well, he's Here goal. we go. And he's underneath Mark the Gary. coverage. Let Gary it isn't in. good. He timed it right. Two, one. Got oh, it. triple oh. cover, not, did not get the overthrow, JJ, welcome to overtime, we've got free football for you, free Tecmo, Trojan Riddler, Tuli and Eddie Z, and let's see who gets it, oh, it looks like Eddie Z is going to get another chance. Eddie find that one right too, man. All right, okay, Eddie, you got enough to keep a drive, and does Tuli have the ability to get a stop here? No fumbles, Tecmo, I want to see these guys duke it out. Full meter kick. Here comes Cobb, and there's a convoy, or as Ultimate Weapon would say, a cavalcade of defenders. 
I haven't talked to Ryan and McKay in a while. Yeah, he's got other things going on. He, he misses whoop, whoop. this. He expresses his condolences to the community that he's been un unable to contribute this year, um, hoping to come back, you know, when when things yeah, are yep. able to. So that's half for him, I guess. Uh, but uh, third down and one, needing a stop is Thule. There you Not go. Not attacking run. the line of scrimmage. Going under the guy carrier. Uh oh. Thule, I don't know if oh, I. Fumble, oh, no! fumble! Fumble! I said I didn't want the fumble. Because I was saying, about to say Thule was making a mistake there. Oh, now he gets he gets rewarded for it. If you're Eddie, you're heartbroken. If you're oh. Thule here, you just got to play it safe. That's malarkey. <laughs> a bunch of malarkey. And a first down for Thule. With the good condition of Mike Malark Malarkey at 31. Uh, also a good blocking piece. Pick play. Call play. Gets out of bounds. That's the difference between what happened there and that other play. Second down and 14. Yeah, I'm not going to fall into that. Disappear. Boom. And Ooh, right in the middle the marker. of the field. Third down and 11 here. Already in Gary Anderson range. He has one field goal and one missed field goal. And uh, as far as blocking the kick, again, I don't know if he's got this check or not here, but Kevin Murphy is in bad. Here's, here's the attempt. You got to take, you got to take Haddix. Get Haddix. Take Haddix. There you go. Good luck. And Thule seals the deal. And it is good. And that ends the ball game. Thule survives. Over at EZU played this very well, unfortunately. Tecmo had something to say about it with the yep. fumble, but that's that's part of the game. All credit to Thule in getting the victory here, 13 to 10. So final thoughts on this one. Yeah, not a whole lot of offense there. Both guys did a good job of kind of slowing them down. Uh, in the end, uh, it came down to when's that fumble going to happen? And, uh, you know, with Pittsburgh, you do seem to get a lot of, a lot of fumbles, and you do get a lot of recoveries because you have so much hit power. And when it does fumble, they popcorn so many guys. So, uh, good game. Eddie, keep your head up there. That was a solid game. And, Tui, congratulations. You get another win. And we got uh, Mario Brothers on the cell phone <laughs> on the way in the background. We went all that time with, like, little to no disruption, which is very rare for us. But that yeah. was uh, that was that was fun to call with you. Hey, everyone, thanks for tuning in this week. Uh, come back next week for Family Matters. That is week three's theme, Family Matters. Every team has a multi-generational or some sort of relation uh, within the NFL, and you'll see matchups with those teams. So for Deriller, this is Trojan and the Red Sports Gamer thanking you for watching this and we will see you next week you take care now